and the golden voice of Neil Rule. Sit back and relax. It's time for your daily dose of Big D Energy. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Big D Energy. Big D! Right here on the Woodward Sports Big Network. My name is Neil Roll. That guy, D-Mac, Darren McCarty. We have KG. We have Spencer yeah. Raxter. But you know who we have? Shane Gostafir. Shane That's Gostafir. who we have. We do. I forgot wow. to play the video after. You did? Oh. Yeah. But hey, I want to see it again. You want to see it now? Let's see it right now. Run it back. The bench pour is the best. That was the scene down at LCA. The Red Wings get the win over the Montreal Canadiens. And uh, D-Mac, still alive. Still alive? You know what? Gary Batman hockey comes down to the 82nd game. You got to win. Another team, that being Washington, has to lose. They're playing Philly, who has to win and Washington has to lose and hope Detroit has to lose and Pittsburgh wins and Boston, whatever it is. Here we are. This is, this is where it is. Last night was as electric as possible. Obviously getting down four, one, not looking good, but uh, you know, the boys never quit. You're talking about Gossosphere. Did you have that yeah. play oh, yeah. at the blue line, which preceded the tying goal which was the empty net goal look at the hops on <laughs> the, the kid yeah, at the blue line seriously look at that that is a season saving play right there as they moved it around got it down to lucas raymond who scored not only the tying goal and then as we saw previously the winning goal in overtime and a feed from dylan larkin so uh doesn't matter how they ask how many you know, obviously, 30-31 for Lucas Raymond. We've talked about him a lot here, sort of being the uh, this young star emerging through the second half of the season and stuff like this. So, again, you've put yourself in the position. All you can do is, is control your destiny. I And you know what? It, it was unfortunate because they came out hard. They could have been up in that game, but they did not. They, they dug down and did everything they needed to do and... We're here to. We're here now. I mean, it's like, this is what it's all about. If right, you if you step back and you look, you're in this conversation. Go go win this last game back to back stuff like that. So um, now is not the time. I said next week's the, you know sort of the time to look and see you know where where we're at. But uh, bottom line is hats off to the guys because they did what they needed to do. No, and, and that's what it is. And there's like different angles to that that I want to get into uh, as the show rolls on. This, this is going to be a multi-segment dealio here because that was big. Obviously, tonight's big as well. And, you know, I know the NFL draft is right around the corner. I, I know that, that we have all that, and I know we're going to get deep into it. And we are, and, but there's still time. And this, this Red Wings team, certainly what they did last night, and they were dead in the water. They were dead. D-Mac, they were dead. Right? Am, am, I, am yeah. I wrong? Like, am I, am I over-exaggerating no, that? I mean, uh, no, they were dead. The fourth goal, make a 4-1, all the air was out of the building and, and everything else. That's why, uh, you know, the resilience, you know, 11 minutes, you know, down two goals halfway through the third period. But they found a way. They found a way. And at the end of the day, it's a results-driven league. No, it is, and, and certainly Lucas Raymond, uh, Alex Debrinkit as well. Debrinkit is continues to be on one when they need him the most. That's the way it goes. So, and, and I'll, I'll take all the opinions too, all the opinions. Go ahead and, and fire away in the WilbertSports.com chat thread. Jump into there, subscribe to the Wilbert Sports YouTube channel. We are Michigan's number one sports network. Uh, Detroit Dabber 313. Washington doesn't deserve the playoffs at all. Minus 38 goal differential bombs. And there's a whole bunch of stuff that I'm going to get into about that. I got a tweet yesterday uh, from the legend Robert Colosia that I do want to discuss because you know he brought up the fact too because the Red Wings are in this position because of the regulation win victory tiebreaker. And the, the, the gist of the tweet was 
You're watching one more games in regulation. Bless you, Spenny. That's a man sneeze. It's a man sneeze right there. But anyway, um, Washington's in this position because of the regulation win tiebreaker, which we'll discuss coming up. You know, as as the show rolls on. Um, the away fan, JT Comfer, one hell of an evening. The unsung hero. Yeah, good to see. See what happens when JT Comfer plays well. Like this, if anything, KG, if anything. This run here kind of underscores what my point's been about with the Red Wings, right? Yeah. When the depth is deep, they're a good hockey team. They are. But when the depth is not deep, they are an average hockey team. Well, you know, and, and production-wise, and, and obviously hats off to JT Comper, too, because he's one of your off-season signings that for these moments, you know, Stanley Cup champion with Colorado and stuff. So he'd been in big games like this. This is what you need. This is where that next level of the leadership where guys have been there in big moments. So again, you got to go out and do it again tonight. Tonight, last night doesn't matter unless you get it done tonight. And you still don't, here's the thing. You, the frustrating thing is the way that it's gone and you don't control your destiny, mm -hmm. right? So where, whereas in a perfect scenario, even if you had to win this game, you win, win and you're in. So hopefully Philly's got the same thing. They got something left because they're fighting for their lives. They're in the same sort of situation too. So we'll see. Great night of hockey. Yes, it was. Uh, CK, last night had to have been the loudest game I've ever been to. An absolutely incredible atmosphere. And I'm glad that it went down, and I'll explain that. And the first segment, we'll get to it in about seven minutes from now, seven, eight minutes from now. Because I'm glad last night happened. Not, I mean, obviously because it keeps him alive in the playoff race and everything like that. But there's something else that came out of it that's a little more deep, I guess you could say, that it really popped in my head. And it kind of ties into what I've been talking about, certainly with Flannel, what we've talked about, DMAC, the cross comparison, I think, to the moments in the Lions season last year with the Red Wings season. I'll land the plane, though. We're, we're definitely going to get there, and uh, we're certainly going to talk uh, a lot of Red Wings hockey. Shelby, uh, Boston did that on purpose. All right, They did not do that on purpose, but so that was so Boston last night, was it not? We needed one thing from D you, Boston. Just typical, insufferable Boston. Nice effort. Boston, guess what? That's why you guys are bitches. And that's why you guys <laughs> lose in the NHL playoffs. And that's why you're not going to win a cup. And that's why when you have to square up with the Florida Panthers, guess what's going to happen again? And here's the deal, too. Here's what I want now. This gave me a lot of emotion when I found out that they, not only did they lose, they got shut out by Washington. All right, so here's the deal. Here's what I want to have happen to the Boston Bruins, DMAC. When all this boils down... I want them to have to play Toronto in the second round of the playoffs. That's what I want. And I'm going to call for the Toronto victory because I think Toronto's going to beat them. Honest to God, I do. And I can't wait for it. And it will take up way more time on this show in Detroit than it ever should. But guess what? I never forget, DMAC. And when the time comes and that lines up, I'll be right here. And I will take one segment out of every show post game, <laughs> and we will talk about Toronto, Boston, and I'll laugh in the face of the Boston Bruins because they are bitches. Is that it, fair? Well, you know yeah. what? That's whew. coming coming a far way. You're, you're I'm promoting. calling it now. You're calling it Toronto and whatever like that. So you're more wor worried about like Boston did you dirty last night. But here's the whole. No, no, they didn't do. They didn't do us dirty, D-Mac. They didn't do us dirty. They were Boston. That's what Boston does. That's where Boston lives. It's a, it's a it's a it's a cool town. But you know what? Here's the beauty. Boston had the luxury to have that game. That's that's where you want to be as a Detroit. Where that game late in the season, you throw an egg up there and it doesn't matter. But other other than getting the ire of Neil Rule and you know putting him on the Toronto bandwagon. Yeah. But, but you're right though. It's it's so the bigger picture in games like that with top teams is you don't want to limp into the playoffs right just like i said last week the, the luxury if we do yeah, make, you all right spenny the luxury if we do make the playoffs bless you spenny you. is the fact that you'll be you'll have games like we had last night which gives you momentum which like think about that plane ride think about the confidence going into the night after coming back from that you got to seize on that momentum and that's got to be we got to see that in the for everybody's first shift of the game you know don't give montreal a reason to compete they got nothing to play for. Show them that. You know, hopefully Montreal's got a big team party down in, you know, St. Catherine Street 
after the game, and they're more worried about that. They can, <laughs> they can give us these two points. Yeah, yeah, come on. Come on. Don't be bums like the Boston Bruins are bums. bums. Get them out of here. WoodwardSports.com, chat thread, the away fed. Bunch of bums. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. <laughs> bums. Bum. It's too bad, too, because Boston's such a cool city. Never been. But their sports teams, man, insufferable. Yeah. I hate them all. Fan, fan bases. Hate them they fan, fan bases. Fan bases. Well. Uh, ugly logos. Yeah. Like, name a good Boston logo. That's a good point. You can't. That's a good The point. Bruins logo sucks. Ugly. The Red Sox logo Sucks. Ugly, but iconic, but ugly. The, the Celtics logo, Never trash. Liked it. Never liked it. Absolute trash. Celtics are by far the worst out of all the Boston teams. I agree. I hate the Celtics. I hate the Celtics, dude. I'm with you, man. Absolutely hate them. Uh, real quick, Spenny, Tigers lost last night. They did. Uh, gave up one run to the Texas Rangers. Reese Olsen Crazy. was dealing. He was. Dealing. Yep. And took the L. Yeah, insane. A one earned run. One run to the Texas Rangers. Can't lose that game. Yeah. Wasn't, it didn't hold them down enough. Yeah. Uh, they lost. A little Javi watch, Benny. Hey. A little Javi watch. Javi, one for four, and you guys kept it pushing. <laughs> Got the tweets. Hey, Neil, maybe Javi is back. Yeah, he's one for four. His average is up to a robust 149. All right, moving up. That OPS still sitting at a very tasty 373. But yet I'm told he's back. And if he was, what was he, two for his last 21, I believe, or two for his last 24. Yeah. So this would make him what? Three for his last 27. But, Neil, he's tied for 139th in home runs. He is. <laughs> T139. <laughs> 25 million doesn't buy you what it used to. It don't. So there you have it, Javi. Watch. So, too, and again, Forgive me, I don't have it pulled up here. Unless I do. Let me see, real quick, because I got to shout him out. Oh, yeah, Greg Rounds. El Mago is here. Suck it, Neil. Oh, it's aggressive. I was told he's back, and I look up, and he's hitting 149. He's back. He is back. So there is that. He's hitting better than Parker Meadows. (laughs) That is true. Right. (laughs) <laughs> I know that's not saying much. But. Parker Meadows cost about 150th what he cost. That is the truth. So I would argue Parker Meadows is a better value. Yeah, you gotta talk to your man Al about that one. I'm just telling you. <laughs> I'm just telling you. Hey, he's hitting half as well as Javi, yet he cost 150th what Javi cost. Hey, Mike O says, is the Baez line the new Mendoza line at 150? Uh, to the fans <laughs> around here, to uh, Greg Rounds, who says, quote, El Mago is back. Suck it, Neil. He's back to him, I guess. So, and Greg, shout out. I know you're a longtime listener. I'm not. I'm just joking with you, man. So, you know, I know Eat people. shit, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy guy. All right, we're gonna get into the Red Wings. We're live, by the way, at the Planet Fitness Studios. I was just in there today. Long run day because it's the best gym in the gym game that's right still a dollar down 10 bucks a month for access to your home club you want to be a baller shot caller the black card dollar down 24.99 per month tons of cardio equipment i know i ran six miles today and it was cool because they have tons of treadmills what do you want tonight spenny uh shoulders shoulder day for spenny guess what tons of weights as well don't have a lot of time the 30 minute circuit they got you covered sparkling clean facilities as well get your shower go on about your day go to planetfitness.com you can join there pull in the parking lot there's over 50 of them in metro detroit alone and you can join there it's planet fitness mr darren mccarty planet fitness where your fitness is essential (laughs) just like breakfast Stop searching for a vehicle and start finding one. Les Stanford Chevrolet Cadillac makes it easy. We harness the power of multiple dealerships and own the biggest selection of GM brands in the area to get you the car you need. With the Les Stanford Group, you'll have access to four different dealerships, providing you with more makes, more models, and more choices. We're connected to more than 1,000 vehicles, and with so many high-quality CPO vehicles available, you'll find new car quality at pre-owned prices. You can start and end your search at lesstanford.com today. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports.
Woodward's love wearing clothes, then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward golf, and of course, our own logo out merchandise. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends, impress your boss, impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. New rule here for Woodward Sports. That's right, shop.woodwardsports.com. We got the new Red Wings line out there, the LFGRW. That's right, you a Brad Holmes guy. Get that T-shirt as well. Draft is coming up soon, everybody. You guys know we're going to be getting it in in just over a week and a half. Act appropriately. Go to shop.woodwardsports.com. Get your Lions gear. Baseball, football, basketball, hockey, it is all out there. Shop.woodwardsports.com. All right, Red Wings get the dub last night. Neil Rule, Darren McCarty back with you. We got KG, Spencer Raxter as well, but we are talking hockey and uh, talking the Red Wings win over the Montreal Canadiens. They have to do it again because for some reason uh, the Capitals shut out the Boston Bruins yesterday. So it all comes down to this. Red Wings need a win. Red Wings need a loss by the Washington Capitals, and it doesn't matter how the loss comes. Overtime loss, shootout loss, whatever it is, you need a Washington loss. They are going to be at Philadelphia tonight, as a matter of fact. And just to let everybody know, you know, what Las Vegas is thinking. I'm not saying it's the gospel, but I'm telling you that's, you know, that's what it is. The Red Wings tonight, minus 195. So almost the same as what they were last night. I think that's a bit aggressive. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, Philadelphia is a minus 145 favorite over Washington. So there is that out there. Um, So, DMAC, this is what it is, man. But what an electric atmosphere it was out there at LCA yesterday. And I'm happy for the fans. I'm happy they got that moment. That's been a long time coming. Well, it has, and there's been like that's the one thing is uh, doing the season. Bless you, Spence. Doing the season <laughs> ticket event um, Saturday is is people understanding and we either getting their season tickets for the first time or uh, you know renewing them for a different spot or whatever. Uh, people are excited. They see the build. They see stuff like that. There's been exciting games in the building this year. I look back to when it, when the whole Woodward crew was in the building. For the Colorado game over time, that was big. I think that the last game of the year gives the excitement. The biggest thing, Neil, at the end or whatever, is everything that I've been preaching, which is about the fan base and about the building and stuff, is that place was rocking and loud and electric and um, the energy in there. It's it's a vibe for sure. And and it's and I, I think it's got the ability, and if not – if you measure it, but to be louder than what it was at LCA back in the day. Because you hear the guys tell you, the players tell you. I know Dylan's, you know, been on record, is that the boys thrive off that stuff. So, I'm uh, as, and you could feel the momentum. As the momentum in the third period kept going and we kept scoring goals. And even at the end for that, uh, you know, the extra, put the pull the goal, the, you know, the, we showed the play goss if you're knocking it down and uh, Raymond tying it up. That place, that that went off the roof. The roof blew off. So it's exciting. Hopefully we can get a get a playoff game to have that excitement again. But, yes, I think you nailed the sentiments exactly. If that was the last game at LCA this year, it, it left a great taste in people's mouth but left them wanting more. Like, I like this. I want this. I got to be back to this this emotion so good job good job by them hopefully it's not the last this year and and dmac like i do want to get into like the gostosphere play because I, I don't know that like we saw it and it's become kind of iconic and look you know how this works if they don't make the playoffs it was a, it was a fun play that everyone got behind and everything but it just kind of but it's it just kind of fades into oblivion. but if they make the playoffs well here's it becomes of, iconic but and and i don't know if anybody thinks like me because it's these moments, is that if it wasn't meant to be getting the playoffs, these moments happen, then then the puck, he would have missed it. It would have gone out, right? We would have been done now. Why I always look for is sort of the signs, and, may, and maybe I'm wrong, but I, think I'm, I don't think I, I am, because there's certain moments that you got to draw from, and, and last night it would have been easier if we're sitting here today going, oh, 
Tonight doesn't matter. The puck got out or it was, a, you know, a couple inches high or whatever. He didn't get up that high, whatever it was. So um, I think that was one of those moments, and I think that we're going to see this. Hopefully tonight it's, like you, you said, the beauty, Neil, it doesn't matter. They have to win, right? So they got to mm-hmm. find a way to win. Even if it's in a shootout, whatever it is, they need to get those two points. Hopefully, like I mentioned in the last segment, <clears throat> Montreal, you know, we come out hard. Get the first goal in Montreal is more worried about their party, right? At the uh, because listen, guys, let me tell you from experience. St. Catherine Street, in Montreal. Yeah, Montreal's Montreal's like a low key, awesome low, town, low, isn't it? it? Oh, it's not low key. It's Ooh, like high it's, key is one of the best towns. I know, but you never like you never hear it like you hear about it's Chicago it's like or it's like Vegas. Nobody talks about. Don't it. talk about it. That's it. Is. Quebec's that way. But, but I'll tell you, Quebec City, they need a team back there. That that was a low key. They crossed from the rink. They had the Dago Bear, the club, right? It was the club. The club. That's what it is. <laughs> the club. But no, there's, you know, so there's a lot of excitement, a lot of things. Hopefully, they got a big team party, and we can give them. An, and hopefully, like after last night, right? You deserve sort of maybe a four-one game or a five-one in our favor. Just a low cruiser where we can. What I want. I want, like, into the second period, it's 3 out there, whatever, I could turn on the other game. And hopefully <clears> Philly's <throat> doing the same thing. Right? But it'll be, it, it's one of these, you know what it is, Neil? This is exactly what it's going to be like, you know, it's playoff watching time. You'll be flipping back and forth the first round and stuff like this. There's excitement, you know, going on. Just hopefully that our team will be one of them. Uh, Elgato says, Spenmo, every sneeze is $30. He also says, stay off the Coke, Spenmo. Can we confirm? Uh, oh. I can confirm I didn't do any last night. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I like doing Coke and choking strippers. That that goes back to the previous 24 it's the hours. Allergies. It's the allergies. Yeah. Allergies to do you, the fans. Do you commit to the last 24 hours? I can commit to the last after. 24 hours, yeah. All right, gotcha. Um, <sighs> Greg Rounds also said uh, that, that's, that upsets me. Uh, your word there about uh, eat ish, Greg Rounds, uh, that upsets me for two reasons. Number one, because Spenny's right. Number two, because I value Spenny's opinion. Love you, Greg. So there, see, everybody's good. Um, WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Uh, Walter Briggs need to win in Philly to win. Yes, that is the scenario out there as well. Mike Hilton says, I dare Neil to say my name correctly for once. Well, Mike, I, you know what? I dare you to spell your name correctly. <laughs> oh, All right? Oh, spell your name correctly, then I'll say it correctly. Why are you putting a Y in there? For what reason? If it's Hilton, so, so there's an I there, not a Y. Did you spell it wrong in the chat? Why are you mad at me? I didn't spell your name that way. You did that. <laughs> Somewhere along the way, your family did that. And I'm the bad guy? No, 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 bro. No. So can somebody mail some Claritin to to the studio? <laughs> In care of Spenmo racks, yeah, right? Please, that'd be cool. W- would Coke fix it or what? That wouldn't hurt. <laughs> you can mail that <laughs> too. <laughs> wow. Wow. You might, wow. get, might get in trouble I, for that one. Yeah, I think the DEA frowns yeah. on that yeah, a little very, bit. Very much so. You know, I think they frown on that. But hey, and, you guys and, uh, do what you want. Hey, te- and technically. Um, Corey, Corey Barry, because I know there's just, let me clarify this, because he said, DMAC, we're up 3 nothing. you don't turn the channel, do you? I have two TVs. You know, oh. two fur- furnaces, I have two TVs. So technically, because you got to, like, yeah. like, like last night, for example, even though I was in the building, mm-hmm. ball game, hockey game, there's always two going on. Oh, shout out to you, Neil. Sunday Night Baseball, you're, you are I did, I in. tapped in. Didn't, I texted you to let you know. Isn't it the great, isn't it, like, great, background noise you don't have to be dialed into it but Correct. it you put it on and then you know there's a story or two like I, I know for a fact that you got caught listening to something shams was going off about no it was it wasn't even that it was more it was it was dodgers padres and it was la and it was dodger stadium mm-hmm. and i do like i do like baseball i i watch a lot of baseball over the course of the summer i'm just not to my summer yet you know what I'm saying? No, like, still it. got the college sports going on and all that, uh, baseball and softball. But you were prepping. It's great prepping in the background. Hundred percent. That's what and, I wanted. And I, just, I didn't have a ton going on. That wasn't the Sunday night pressure cooker. You know, when you got the kids and stuff, it, mm-hmm. all that stuff was handled. So I just, I kind of flipped it on, 
and just sat there and had my computer open. And yes, I had it on, and I enjoyed it. And the Padres beat the Dodgers, and I had a very good fantasy day as well for my fantasy baseball team. I have the Padres closer. I got one of those easy three-run saves. Nice. Shout out to the three-run save, uh, which is nowhere near as stupid as the overtime reward for losing in hockey. We'll get into that in a little bit. (laughs) Oh, we will. I I have someone asked, "Did you eat your Snickers today?" Wait till I talk about the NHL rules. (laughs) Wait till it's all coming to a boil today. You know what, though, Uh, and and so that's great. And I know that I segue back and forth, but I'm going to segue back to the game. The best thing that I saw, Spenny, and I laughed. Because I've actually had this moment, which is is true, and we're talking about the electricity in the building. And and this is where you have to understand, right? Like, during the – what do I always say? When the puck is on the ice, the play is going on. As a player on the ice, all you you can hear is the ice. Focus the ice. You don't – the fans, nothing. But the minute that puck is either in the net, the whistle's blown or whatever, we're all part of the same party. Mm-hmm. Right? So last night, I don't know if anybody saw this, Daniela Bruce tweeted out, and she asked Lucas Raymond the question after the game, how loud was it out there? And Raymond said, quote, I don't know. I blacked out. Me too, brother. 100 million percent. I have been there. Surreal moment, obviously. The one I think about is is the, the goal against Philly and stuff like this. But the electricity and and – where everybody's in it, and I know Spenny showed showed the clip, but is the guys off the bench and the excitement and stuff mm-hmm. like that? That's yeah. that's full commitment. All you have to do is look at the sellies and stuff. And if you don't think these guys care or are in it together and stuff like this, it's just it's it's something to be seen. And this is the beauty, right? This is the beauty of why Lucas Raymond is starting to get it, not only as a player on and off. It's the transparency and the genuine. What you're seeing is this is who. This is who this kid is, and that's what will endear him to this city as he's already, I think he's on slowly but surely on his way. Him and Larkin, I think, have, have really gained a lot with fans. Like, you, I think Dylan, see, I think Dylan, it was that maturation. It was sort of been here and whatever. I think it's Mo and, Mo and Lucas is like these, the, 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 not the odd couple, but these are the two guys that you're going to lock these Lock these. It's it's almost like to me. It's like Penny Sewell and Amon Ross St. Brown. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I don't know if they're tight relationship as we know that Raymond and Siders is, but it's like it's the Mutt and Jeff and the stuff, and the, we see all the interactions and stuff. But these are your these are your guys, and Lucas Raymond is really what we always said is that you know hopefully the ceiling was a 20, 20 25 goal, you know second line right winger. Well, he's putting himself into that competition is that you know what he's stepping up in to brink at level and at the end of the season if we want to have this conversation is that you he might be more valuable than than what to brink has done this year with but the caveat is you got two right hand snipers and guys that are stepping up so i i just love i i just love when guys you know they don't mail it in right and and that's the emotion and i think that with with Raymond is you'll catch him like you you'll catch me is telling you the truth you know and somebody else tell him, don't say that you know what I'm saying so I just really li- like that because it's absolute facts because he should have blacked out yeah you know, that with all that excitement anybody ever had that much ad- adrenaline rush because I'll put on you it's crazy and we we, t- we talked about the gossip sphere <laughs> Vertical, obviously, because it saved the game. But another defenseman on the Red Wings might have had a better vertical last night, and it was after the game-winning goal, and it was Mo Sider. Look at how <laughs> high that big dude is at the top oh, of that. Skates, yeah. like, are you kidding me? If you don't see, to me, with anything, like, out of er- anything else, and, and like, that's your guy. Like, that's your headman. That's your leader. That's your guy that's, that's going to be the calm to all the storm to whatever else. Like, Dylan Larkin's your captain, and, and everything that takes care of this. But this kid right here, and, and Spenny, you can't, like, if that's not excitement and you don't think yeah. this means everything else, and look, look, Gossip Spears verticals just have, like, Mo would have, Mo would have, like, rejected. <laughs> Mo would out jump that puck. But that's what a great photo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that a, uh, a Getty? Yeah, yeah it's is. a Getty. 
They get all the best shots, man. Mulk and all dog, the time. For Mulk sure. And dog for sure. For sure. <laughs> all right, let's do this and let's take a break. And and I want to get into I want to get into my little theory here. And I, I want to break it down. And because break I down. think I think that win last night bought a lot of goodwill for the Red Wings in this town going forward, regardless of what happens tonight. Is, so I want I want to get Which is stupid. But dot dot. But you know dot, it's not D-Mac. stupid. Haircuts at Lady Jane. Haircuts, and don't worry, I'm going in for the red today. Awesome is when a guy can be a guy and get an amazing haircut. That's Lady Jane's haircuts for men. Stop in, sit back, and relax and let one of the Lady Jane's talented stylists make you look and feel great. Walk at any time, seven days a week. Lady Jane's, it's wicked awesome. Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. Is that an octopus in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> see what I did there? Go Red Wings! From Octopi Experts Woodward Sports. The BGCSM 3C Sports Conference is coming during NFL Draft Week, starting on April 24th. Special guests will include Jerome Bettis, Barry Sanders, Eddie George, Aleem McNeil, Calvin Johnson Jr., Sean H. Wilson, Cynthia Freeland, Adam Scheffner, and more. This event is open to athletes, coaches, and parents, but space is limited. So go to our website and purchase your tickets today at www.bgcsm.org. Since 1996, Feldman Automotive has been driven to provide a first-class, effortless, and convenient car buying experience called the Feldman Advantage. There's 18 Feldman Automotive locations, so you know there's one in your backyard. I'm talking across all brands as well. Of course, the the linchpin of it all is Feldman Chevrolet in Novi, Michigan's number one Chevrolet dealer. But whatever kind of car you're looking for, go to FeldmanAuto.com. It's one stop, and you're done because you're going to find what you want. Let me tell you something else, too. We don't talk about it a lot. The service at Feldman Automotive locations. Feldman Chevrolet, getting some work done on my car. Effortless. That never happens. It never happens, everyone. So you need some service done. Feldman Automotive in the service department. They're your play as well. I can attest to it. Go to FeldmanAuto.com. It's Feldman Automotive. Keeping it pushing here. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, KG Spencer Raxter, all of you in the Woodward Sports YouTube chat thread. Uh, Walter Briggs, did you see the video of the Machado home run? The guy pockets the ball and throws his own back. I don't know if you saw that, D-Mac. Fan (laughs) catches the Manny Machado home run in his glove. Takes the ball, you know, in his glove, closes the glove reaches in his pocket and throws a ball back onto the field, but That's kept the hilarious. Machado home run in his glove. That's dope. But he was a Dodgers fan. <laughs> I mean, a home run ball is a home run ball. That's kind of weak, bro. You think Then so? don't front that. Hey, that's and that's a 90s hip hop. Then yeah, don't yeah. front. <laughs> I believe it was Biz Marquis that said it best. Ain't yeah. no future in your front. It's not. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, KG. What are we talking about here? I uh, know, but Red Wings, Canadians, and look, I want to get a little more granular, I guess you could say, about the discussion. And, and I was happy for the Wings, obviously, first and foremost, because the dream stays alive. They, they win an entire season. No matter what happens, this season came down to the very last minute of the very last game. No matter what happens, it yeah. did. But DMAC, the point I want to make is, and you've heard me make this, this claim before. You remember when we talked about the Lions on Thanksgiving when they lost to Green Bay and just the nonsensical, irrational anger about the Lions losing. The vitriol. Yeah, I mean, just this hate that was being... vitriol, uh, everything, all, everything that was built is like, knock it down. Yeah, you like, and you know why my, my theory was, because they felt, Lions fans felt they were owed that one. Yeah. Because they could lock in, there was nowhere to be, this was their moment. National TV, Thanksgiving, all the family, this was going to be their payoff, their moment. And it didn't work out, and they were pissed. I think last night was good for the Red Wings, because I'm not... I, and and you'll, you'll hear it, I think, if they, if they win or if they lose tonight. Somehow, if they don't make the playoffs, you'll hear it. 
but I don't think you'll hear it near as much as you're gonna is as you heard it with the Lions or anything like that, or as much as you heard it lately. People will be upset, but nowhere near as upset because of what happened last night. Red Wings fans got their payoff last night. They got their moment. The chips were down. They came back. It was the greatest atmosphere, the greatest hockey atmosphere in the history of Little Caesars Arena last night. And you guys all got your Instagram reels, and you got it all last night. And I think, DMAC, that that's what they wanted. They got their payoff. There'll be some people upset, but I don't think it'll be near what it will be if the Red Wings don't make the playoffs. So we're just talking about the noise. We're not talking about the fan, the real fan, or the, the no, no, the certainly that, not. We're just talking about the noise out there, right? The Correct. noise will, circ- the noise is going to be what it what it is, right? So the best case scenario is the Wings win tonight, and and if Washington wins, well, you did everything you did, and then it's not. Good. The the one thing here's the one thing for the fans and for the ones that are on the hashtag or have been listening, why is it playing nineteen nineteen of the process, right? Is the question and I think that and and the smart fans like and and uh Dan in the logger, met Dan who's out in the logger truck right now. Clearing trees, listening to Big D energy. Oh, nice. Shout, Shout out, out, bro. Um, is is like I said, is the fact is that their questions are now they're forming their questions from frustration, right? To to now sensibility about about who's gonna be here, who's a part of the future, right? More questions that I see being put on the coach, right, and some of the decisions he's made instead of the personnel that the gms put in place that's all i'm just trying to get you it's levels right like if you're what did i what did i text in our group text last night right to f- something to flannel red spenny can you pull it up will you, re- <laughs> will you read it because it just because if you guys don't understand that we're not even right we're not even like we're and i've used the analogy of being out in in the ocean and stuff like this of about getting the land yeah but there's still so many more different bigger disappointments what did i so much more heartache in games like this i use weed sam that works to for sleep because that's it, right? said, how is he gonna sleep? Hey, oh yeah but you need well, i told sam to use weed to sleep he said he can't sleep he's so stoked mm-hmm. but it, but there's levels to this right we're not even talking about this wasn't even a playoff victory this wasn't this was a regular season. right so what i'm saying is yes get excited and enjoy it but, but i want you to bounce back into the reality of where this team is and then it might be a little bit easier to understand of the steps it's taken now in saying that this like all these questions about what should have could have you know been or whatever are for after the season and hopefully that's not for a few weeks but until then like you said this team shows you and and why people are are getting these tickets why the the buildings are being full is because they're building and they've got something and last night was something of what will be more in the future, but it's just, it, it, it's levels to this. Uh, Woolworthsports.com chat thread. Hey, Spenny, before, the, can I preface this? Can we do a poll real quick? Sure. Are you happy with where the Red Wings are as a franchise right now? Mm-hmm. Very simple. Good question. Are you happy with where the Red Wings are as a franchise right now? Very baseline, because I want to get a temperature for the room. I I, I think it's going to be 60, 60 40. 65, 35, yes. I think that's what it's going to be. Yeah, Handicap right. it, KG. What do you think it's going to be? Uh, around, actually, I think maybe 70, 30. 70, yeah. 70, 30, yes. Okay. So we're in the same ballpark. Yeah, most people would be happy with the season. So, I, yeah, you know, and I'm curious. And because I want to get to Drew K's point right here, you know, who still, who still seems a little bit angry, uh, I guess. But that's okay. That's why we're talking about it. Um, so Drew K says, we did not get our payout. What are you talking about, Neil? They lost a third spot in the division. We still want Lalone fired. And then he goes on to say, all last night did was give us more proof this team is better than you give them credit for, Neil. Well, see, Drew K, like, I don't know where you're, where you're going with that. And I also said there will still be some of you out there, like you, Drew K. You are going to be one of those people. But there are far less of you now 
because a lot of the fans got their Instagram reels and all that stuff last night. They got them celebrating in the stands. They got that good feeling walking out of LCA. They got it. You know, so again, I think there's going to be less vitriol than there would have been. Wow, 84% of the people say yes. Well, then, Drew K., what are we talking about here then, man? And this was, this all plays into it, Drew K. They're a 500 team playing with other 500 teams for the right to get in the playoffs and probably lose in the first round, but maybe not. You can't win if you're not in. And do I want them to get in? Yeah, Drew K., obviously I want them to get in. But they've been better every step of the way under 19's leadership. Dude, you can't deny it. I can give you the proof. Yeah. You can't deny it. So I, d- I don't know what you want from me, Drew K. I don't know what you want me to say. And so you're going to be one of those Sam Flannel type people that literally one point is going to shape your entire thought process on a franchise and an organization and where they are. If they get two points tonight and Washington gets one, it's a success and they're a good team. If they get one point and Washington gets two when it's over, then they're a failure of an organization. That's stupid. That's a stupid take to have. One point dictates the way you feel about everything? That's dumb. Sorry, bro. That's, you'll, you'll never convince me otherwise. Never. Your thoughts, D-Mac? Absolutely. I mean, it's a big picture thing. Like, th- th- there's levels of this. Like I said in the tweet, you're gonna like you're gonna get this emotional about making the playoffs. Do you know that there's you got the next step is being in the playoffs and winning the first round and then getting to the conference finals. And you look at all these other teams, the the great teams that we saw down the stretch, or the, like look at Florida for example, look at the Rangers, look at all these teams. Somebody's gonna come up short. So it's about putting it putting the pieces in place and from where you've come from to be in this position how can you not accept it after you know where you came from last where you came from last year and you still know you're a few pieces away whether they're in the organization in Grand Rapids or not right makes it that much bigger next year but the fact is that one point or this and that yes you can question how it happened and don't you go back and go okay so this losing streak you know, uh, later in the season and stuff, what, what was the cause of that? How do, we, how do we mend that so it doesn't happen again? That's all you can do. But the fact that you're in this conversation in Batman hockey is, like, ha- you haven't been, what was last year? You get 80 points? Like, you're, I don't know. Progress to me, I guess, means different, and I see it, so... That's it. To me, that sounds like you're more linear. It's just a, it's, it's, it's the black and white. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's proof. Like, there are still holes. Is there a goaltending issue on this team? Long term, in, 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 in relation to challenging for an Eastern Conference championship, is there a goaltending issue? Yes, goaltending yes. issue. Couple D, right? You still need that one C, you know, but you're closer. 100%. You're but closer. You're, you're, and that's all you can ask for. And... Like, if we're going to if we're gonna get in those weeds right now, like, you look at Lucas Raymond and where Love he is. Weeds. Who drafted him? Who drafted Mo Sider? Like, for the people that say, well, where are they? Where are they? This is the nature of how hockey works. Again, tell me you're a casual without telling me you're a casual. This isn't the NFL. The rookie doesn't step up. Uh, this isn't Major League Baseball where Ryan Langford's in the major leagues even. It doesn't work. There are, like, two dudes a decade that are drafted like that. Like, come on, guys. Let's have some common sense here, okay? Let's have some common sense. So, hey, when we come back, I, this is a relevant time, too, because we get our opportunity, our weekly discussion with Dr. Jeff Pierce, because the Red Wings, there's some, there's some medical things I want to ask oh, here. Oh, You come off an emotional high like that, you got to fly, you know, you, you play an NHL game, you deplete your reserves, you got to go on a plane and fly for an hour and a half. Oh, How are you was, gonna get right for tonight? Oh, I was more concerned that you know the weather's nice and us weekend warriors or you know us golfers are out there. And my knees a little, a little I wanna stiff. Ask, I want to ask Doc if it's like lack of preparation or something. Well, we can ask your dumb hockey stuff. Yeah, no, if we you want, can. but let me first tell you, insurance. We all have to deal with this. So, with the first pick of the 2024 draft, Detroit picks Swiss Insurance Group, Woodward Sports in Detroit. Top pick for your insurance need. Keep your current provider honest and price out Swiss today. Go to SwissINS.com or call my buddy Mark. 313-530-1698.
Come to any Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men and claim your throne for a king's treatment from one of our talented stylists. Open seven days a week, walk in anytime. Just get to a Lady Jane's today and receive a precision haircut, scalp massage, hot lather neck shave, and a hot towel treatment. A haircut should not be a chore, it should be an experience. And that's exactly what Lady Jane's has to offer. Open seven days a week, walk-ins are always welcome. There's always a location near you. Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men, it's wicked awesome. You, you smell that? That's Brad Holmes cooking. And the off-season smells good. Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports. Love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo out merch. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. Nashville Hot Chicken is back at Sorokis. They got the tenders, the sandwich. They also have loaded fries and their all-new Nashville Hot Pizza. Limited time offer, so come get it while you can. They got 11 locations that you can choose from, or you can order it online and pick it up in store. Nashville Hot is back for a limited time. Come enjoy the delicious heat while you still can. All right, keeping it pushing here. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, Spencer Raxter. We got KG in the house as well. We also have our good friend, too, Dr. Jeff Pierce, a medical director at the Michigan Sports and Spine Centers. And, um, you know, Doc, it's, it's good that we get a chance to catch up with you. And DMAC wants to talk about getting old and stuff like that, which we can all relate to. But I want to I talk about the Red Wing stuff. You were there. You were in the building. You know the electricity. What, what did the Red Wings have to do? I want to talk about regeneration because they went through an emotional time. You were there in the building. You know the emotion that was in that building. Oh, yeah. To, to deplete your reserves, to play an NHL hockey game, an all-in NHL hockey game. And look, hydration when you fly is already kind of a tougher, tougher issue. What was, what was that time for that three hours after the game like for the Red Wings? Were they doing anything differently or was, was everything the same? Yeah, I mean, they, they've played back-to-backs before. I mean, the emotional – actually, the emotional part will help them, right? Because if you go through a game like that and you lose, you're drained, right? We've talked about the adrenaline rush. We've talked about cortisols. We call – all those levels get you through the next level. I mean, by them winning is way more positive for them to recover than if they were losing because you have – you know, there's emotional chemicals in your body that you're dealing with. You know, they're not dealing with that. As far as what they're doing, they should have a routine. These guys are professionals. They got a bunch of trainers, a bunch of people helping them to get recovered. You know, you're talking more about what's the quick recovery. You know, the quick recovery, whatever their juice is, whatever they're going to eat. You know, we talked about the Masters. The guys going on, I think it was Saturday. They had uh, not to switch over to golf that quick because, you know, I want to get to yeah, Tiger yes. today. But Please same do. kind of thing. What are you going to do? I'm going to do my power bar. I'm going to do that special juice. I got a special sauce. Guys that are hurting. Guys, you know, somehow injuries don't appear when you're in this period of time, especially with hockey players. That's what I – I'm not dissing anyone else, but I like hockey players, how they have a mental capacity of blocking stuff out to no other level of – you know, most of them I can say as a whole, you know, I think it's because they get their head hit so many times <laughs> they don't know the difference. But – the, the point is is that they're going to do it. I don't, I don't see that as a factor. You know, if they go into overtime again, will they be okay? These guys will play until they're, they're done, right? Then they deal with it. That was the thing with all the Red Wing years that I was involved. You would hear, you know, that's not when, you know, you, were, you had to report your injuries. You had to do all that. We kept everything quiet. I mean, how many injuries popped up the day the season was over for the Red Wings? I mean, they wouldn't talk to the doctors. They wouldn't talk to the trainers. By the way, I, There's I can't one my- injury, right? So to Doc's point, okay? So if I'm nursing a groin where everybody knows or whatever, it's a groin. Then I do my back physical. Oh, you got a tear in your – oh, you broke – you got a broken finger. You got, you got about five different things that you need to get maintenance that you weren't even worried about. It was like all that stuff. And guys won't – like half the time guys won't say anything it's not like 
the trainers know. More than half the time. <laughs> till, the, till the end, till, till when right. is it? It's at yeah, the it's, outgoing it's, physicals where it's like, yeah, doc, my knee, dude. Yeah. Put me back together. Yeah. <laughs> it, pretty, uh, pretty much, you know, <clears throat> like that. My, my question, too, and you brought up a great point. And this is what I'm hoping to, to capitalize on. You brought up the point that going off the adrenaline and winning last night, it's, it's, you know, uh, business as usual for the Red Wings. Whatever it is, everybody's, everybody's on point because of what the, this game means as far as getting all your fluids and nutrition and all that stuff, like the Wings. On the other hand, like Montreal being the last game of the year and not yeah. being in it or whatever, I mean, that's one of those things that you get on the plane last night and maybe, yeah. maybe it's like, you know, you're going to have instead of that power drink, you're going to have a couple more beers, you know, and, and not do whatever – Right, like that is. I I'd be real very surprised too. Like he's saying, Canada, the Canadians are making more about what I'm doing on this weekend because they know their season's over versus the Red Wings. I mean, they're they're not so like taking the extra time or being extra careful with their body. They're going to show up, play the game, do the best they can because they're professionals, but they're not playing for anything. I was impressed with them yesterday. Yeah, playing. You know, and then that's why they got a lot of young guys in. Yeah, you know what I mean. You look at like the the uh, first game, Lane Hudson, you know, a defenseman playing his first NHL game. You know, different guys like that. You look at guys on the score sheet, younger guys who have to prove something, right? Which is different. But as far as you know, hopefully, the adrenaline from last night's game works negatively because it also too to the losing team. Correct. Right. right. So, I I'd be surprised if we don't take care of tonight. You know, I'm more worried about Washington and, you know, them winning. But overall, for the Red Wing purpose, to answer your question, the rehydration, all that, they should have a routine. I know the nutrition. And it doesn't is, change at all, I guess. It doesn't. It probably goes up a little bit because of the short turnaround. And the adrenaline The adrenaline's a positive. They're in a positive state of mind. We're doing it. We got, you know, we've done well in the last couple of days. We're right there. We're right where we want to be. You know, nobody's put their 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 foot on our throat yet type of attitude and I, I'd be surprised if they don't do well and can't you know the my, the Canadians you know, I think the opposite mental effect are going to be with them you know do they they play for nothing to lose yeah maybe but yeah but Dr. Pierce they're like they're like big D energy on 1250 on a Friday like let's just let's just get to one o'clock and be done for the week right you can say it that way I hope they are. <laughs> I hope they got a big team party tonight. Like I said. Yeah, I mean, I, mean Jesus. I, I think the point is, like, screw, you know, maybe I will have an extra beer. Maybe yeah. I'll sleep an extra hour. I'm not going to the trainer, you know, where our guys should be trainer, you know, post, post game uh, cool downs, their dynamic warm ups, everything should be in place. These guys should be head focused, locked in, where Montreal may be, you know, worrying about what they're doing this weekend. All right, Dr. Pierce, talking to Dr. Jeff Pierce here, the medical director of Michigan Sports and Spine Center. Uh, Day Juice in the Woodward Sports chat says, I strained two back muscles golfing last week. Stretch people, which I kind of, I do want to take that to the Tiger Woods. We really got that tax? 100%, yeah. Oh, my God, it's like set up. It's perfect. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hey, our, our audience is great. We have the best audience here at Woodward. <laughs> there is no doubt. Um but I did, I did want to bring up the Tiger Woods thing because I saw a whole lot of back... And look, social media is not the best place to get to your data or gather your opinions or anything like that. However, you know, it seems as though the, the, the people that were talking about Tiger, right, who's, what, 48, I believe, right now, right, um, made the cut. So You know, I, you get what you deserve in golf. He made the cut. He deserved to, to have made the cut. That's the way that it works. But with all that being said, I, I saw... I was surprised by the amount of Tiger kind of pushback about the whole you know it, it all fell apart he's 48 it's over stuff like that I mean give me give me your take on that Dr. Pierce I, I'm not I don't follow Tiger haters um you know do you do you look at a career and say it should end properly like you know talk about Tom Brady you end on top leave on top Tiger you know Tiger could be accused of that a little bit but give him a break I mean the guy hasn't right. competed and how long he hasn't gone the fatigue and walking the masters augusta is one of the hardest courses to walk and deal with you know it, there's a reason why it's known that way his body every part of his body hurts you know this guy's doing unbelievable training you know for to be there and to compete with the young boys you know was it respectful what was he plus 16 doesn't matter he 
Here, here's the whole thing. He finished. He did yeah. everything. The wheels right. came off for a lot he of guys. He did right? everything yeah. in his power with the weather condition to continue. He broke a record, yeah. right? 20, what is it, 24? 25 or 24. 24. 24. He, he's the all-time leader in most consecutive Masters cuts made. What, Tiger Woods not having played for almost a year to, do, to go out and have to walk. And with the rain delay, I have to play 24 holes on arguably hard, the, one of the hardest walking courses on tour after coming out. He put everything into making the cut. Then he just, you know, couldn't, ran into it. He's not, he's done when he says he's done. I mean, yeah. I can't wait till he's 50 and he decides to go play the senior tour and just decides to, like, break all Hale Irwin's No, and, and, and yes, it, and it'll go down I don't think he like should that. be allowed to until he's, like, 60. I think Tigers should have a little... Uh, an asterisk there. You no, can't go until you're 60. I want to see him 60. absolutely just dominate again on the senior tour yeah. like he did before. But, but yeah, I mean, the weather conditions and everything else, it was – the whole thing it, was him making the cut was, was the thing. Yeah, I mean, there's guys that didn't make the cut that are way bigger names. I mean, put the hater on that. No, no, but, but Doc, uh, Let's Go Red Wings Party says, Tiger just looks like he's in pain all the time now. Which, which yeah. And then, look, Tiger made the cut. Like, that's – in golf – Nobody in golf gets anything guaranteed. You earn every single thing you've ever gotten, and everything resets week to week. So, I mean, for me, he made the cut. So what are you going to say to that? But it, it does. I mean, and again, you're not his doctor, so you don't know. But you, you have an educated kind of opinion on it. I mean, where do you think he's at physically right now? Physically, like that, that person of the yeah. chat room said, it looks like he's in pain. It does look like he's struggling. He's getting through. I forget what tournament he was. We found out after he had a torn meniscus and he, and he still won the tournament. This guy has a mental capacity that's very, very Hockey -like. few. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hockey-like. Very few have where the focus is locked in. I'll deal with the rest when I'm done. And he's got a, team, a medical team that's second to none, I'm sure. But it looks like he's in discomfort. He hits something wrong. He hits it out. Like he was in bad places at the Masters. And there, those areas take a toll on you. When you don't have a free swing and you can use your normal mechanics, you got to do a little twist. You got to do a little put pressure on this part of your extremity, you know, to get that shot done. He had to switch up. He didn't have simple mechanics working, and that, you know, that'll play a role. Yeah. You know, he's what he's taking. He's doing one tournament a month right now. Is that what he said? Something like that. Yeah. yeah so he's gonna recover. He's gonna recover. He's doing it for fun. He's doing it the way he wants to do it. Is he in pain? Absolutely. I think, I think he would have liked to have the chance to sit down after day two. No doubt. And, and, that's, and Doc, too, because that's, that's the thing. You see him, Tiger Woods round one physically yeah. looks far different than Tiger Woods round three. It and, almost, and it moves quickly. To get into politics, it's almost like Obama day one versus Obama day when he exited. I mean, these guys uh, oh, yeah, are yeah, so we, we don't do that on this show, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but again, though, I mean, just going back to it, though, it, when you are 48 and your body has it, been through the grinds that his has, this is how it's going to go down. Tiger on hole one, day one, is far different than hole 18, day three. Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. You know, and that can lead into our weekend wars. You're talking about recovery, right? You don't recover. You don't have the elasticity. You don't have the collagen. You don't have all that good, what we want to call PRP, platelets, all that, exosomes, all that for your natural, right? When they're 20 recovering they're on speed when you're 48 you're like you know they're having a drink in between in between plays you know there, there's just a different recovery pattern our science has improved greatly you know what he's had you know you're talking about the epitome right so michigan sports and spine that's what we try to give to our our weekend warriors is a little bit of what tiger has without question he's got the best medical team he's got a nutritionist consultant how you can recover all all that you know we want to call it regenerative you know, there's, there's words that there's peptides out there for him, but he definitely has a secret sauce that's going through. For our weekend warriors like you guys that want to talk about golf and back pain, which your other uh, chat person was mentioning, yes. you know, back is a big strain. You know, getting into the season, the, the weather's good, the weather's bad. It's just like your lawn. Our weather was nice. All of a sudden, all these things bloomed up, and now it's cold. They're all going to die. Same thing with your body, Right. You had a good, nice day. Well, shoot, we don't know if there's going to be a nice day tomorrow. I'm going to go golf today. I'm running a little late. I'm not warming up. I'm not cooling down. I didn't All spend, correct, by the way. Yeah. 
I mean, this is Michigan. It's not my first rodeo with the, with the weekend warriors. But you've got to be smarter. You know, educate. That's why we're doing shows like this is to educate you to take the time. It's 20 minutes. It's 20 minutes before you get out there. Maybe look a little goofy doing the stretches. You know. He's talking hey, to me right now, everybody, yeah. by the way. He's looking me dead well, in the eye talking Mac, to me. Mac, I can't. I, we've already, we already know what we're dealing with. But taking, I'm like chalk, so I'm good. A dynamic warm-up isn't considered taking two off the first tee, just for the record. Oh, it's not? <laughs> no, that's not considered the okay. dynamic warm-up. It used to be. That's why we're that's why I get When upset. you were 22, maybe you, that was yeah. your – but now that you're at your age. No, but on an honest note, it does, it's not like you take a lot. The prevention is not a lot. You know, if you know you're going to want to start playing, you know, maybe we just make it March 1st. We don't know what weather it's going to be, but I, I'm going to be prepared for that one sunny day in March or the two sunny days and start thinking about mentally what's going on. I would love to say to everybody, you should have a routine every day. I don't care who you are or what's going on, how perfect your body is. You should have a routine that you do when you get out of bed for a physical activity. I know people have a routine. I wake up, I have my coffee, I go to the bathroom, I take my shower. If you could put a 10 to 20 minute routine of physical activity, respect your body, your life is going to be so much better. You know, it, you know, I'd like to say start it whenever, you know, age 15. But if you call 25 that day, you got to start thinking that way, respect your body from a nutritional standpoint, which we're doing, but a physical standpoint. Lengthening of a muscle is, is very proactive, preventative. What does that mean? That means when you feel real tight or you just feel like, oh, I got to walk a few steps before I get, your body's telling you you're starting to age, right? So, you, you know, having a stretching routine. Maybe we'll do a show where I get you guys stretching. The, I would the, like the, that, actually. The 10, real. 15 minute routine. I would like that, actually. That we're going to get a bed here, roll you into the bed, and then this is what you do to stretch for back. This is what you do for neck. You have shoulder issues. You know, just moving, going through the motion, probably the best thing for any sport is going through the actual motion that you're going through and then mimic other motions that will happen throughout. Like golf is one of the hardest because you're doing a rotational thing. Your neck's involved, your back's involved, your position is involved, you know, with everything. You, you, need to, you need to do something like that. Well, Doc, as always, we certainly do appreciate the time and day juice in the chat. Uh, check them out, michigansportandspine.com, by the way. So, Dr. Pierce, appreciate it. We'll, we'll chat again next Tuesday. Cool. Cool. All right, nice guys. Talk. All right. Thanks go so Red Wings. Lot. There you go. Absolutely. The doc has spoken. And speaking of that, talking about food as a matter of fact, let me tell you about the best chicken sandwich in the chicken sandwich game. You guys know what it is already. Shake Shack. Chicken Shack sandwich. And guess what else? You can try the Chicken Shack sandwich for free. All you got to do, $10 purchase, maybe grab a shake and a crispy crinkle fry, and your Chicken Shack sandwich will be free. Use a promo code Woodward. Yes, it is that simple. In person, online, or download the Shake Shack app today. $10 purchase, promo code Woodward. Boom, you get a free Chicken Shack sandwich. I can't do anything else for you guys. You want to try the best chicken sandwich in the game? I just gave you the key to unlock it. Promo code Woodward. Promotion available in all seven Metro Detroit locations. It's Shake Shack. City Dan Campbell. Just put your head down and go to work. It's about to be fun, man. It's about to be fun. Woodward Sports. At work and at home, we're there with smarter security solutions. Featuring complete automation with customized alerts and more. For over 90 years, we've been the company that's been counted on to protect what matters most, all with personalized service and care. Right now, for a limited time, receive a free video device plus free installation with a new home system. Guardian Alarm. We protect Michigan. 
Woodward Sports has a new morning show. Start your day with Wake Up Woodward, Monday through Friday, 8 to 10 a.m. live on the Woodward Sports Network. Kool-Aid, Flannel Sam Broder, JB, and KG. That's right. Every morning, they cover all of Detroit sports. Sports talk, banter, live fan interaction, all on Detroit's number one sports network, everybody. That's fact, not opinion, Woodward Sports. All right, we're keeping it pushing, everybody. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network, Neil Rule, Darren McCarty, KG, Spencer Raxter here in the building. All of you as well. It all goes down tonight. And I know we've said it a lot, but biggest Red Wings game in eight years tonight. Last yeah. night was the biggest one. Yeah. Now tonight's the biggest one. But it all it all comes to a head tonight, D-Mac. Yeah. This no. is it. I'm Gary Bettman hockey, last game of the year. We got four teams vying for to get like everybody's got Washington Islanders Philly us whatever is like everybody's got a chance. I mean, it's just it ain't the way it used to be when I played. I know, and it bothers me. And you know what, D Mac, can we get into that a little bit, please? And I want to do it now because again, I got out in front of this. That was my segue. Yeah, thank you. That, yeah, that was elite, D-Mac. I feel like a proud father. Thank you. Every single time. There we time. go. We got swapped back and forth. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. You were happy I watched Sunday Night Baseball. Yep. I was happy you did your own great segue. Win-win uh, scenarios abs- all absolutely. around. Absolutely. Um, Robert Closio uh, tweeted at me and said, you know, the, uh, the Red Wings are in this spot, obviously, because of the tiebreak scenario. And the tiebreaker in the NHL, for those that don't know, and it's relevant tonight, no more tonight than, yeah. than any other time, maybe in the Red Wings franchise history. The tie break is not wins. The tie break is regulation wins. So while you're rewarded for losing in overtime, you are not rewarded for winning in overtime, which is another (laughs) dumb example of the NHL and the rules. Make it make sense to me, somebody. You are rewarded for losing, but you are not rewarded for winning. Make it make sense. Show us. I will. Jose. I will. I will try to make it make sense to you, Neil. So listen very carefully. Please do. Gary Batman hockey. No, I do not <laughs> accept that explanation. I do not accept that. It's the only one I got, bud. So if it doesn't make <laughs> sense, it makes sense for yes. All this, all this other stuff which goes into it. These are just the what do the kids call it the iceberg. Now you're getting into the iceberg theories and levels of of does this make sense, right? If you're because you. The statement you said, so you don't you don't get re- you get rewarded, but you don't get rewarded. You get re- let me say it again. Yeah, say, you say get it again. rewarded for losing in overtime to Which the point where it's the point. difference of you getting in the playoffs or not getting in the playoffs. You get a but point, but you do for not losing. get rewarded. You get two for points winning for winning, just overtime. like you would in regulation. Right. but you do not get, get credit. the caveat. That's so where stupid. is yeah. explain. Where's the common sense? Kenny, somebody Kenny, help me. Kenny, Anybody help you me. are the, the, the most level headed common sense person here <laughs> on big D. Energy, well, thank you. I appreciate right? it. You're a man who locks his emotions in. You process things. You think about them before, before you say them. Can you oh, please hold on. make, I got, make hold on. I got other one. than it's Gary Batman end of the year, because it's all about, Ooh, let's, he ain't here, accepted it. Here, here's what I don't accept, and KG will get there in a second, mm-hmm. but I, I need to intervene yeah, here. Just a fan. Because three-on-three three and shootouts is not hockey. No, 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 just a fan. You get rewarded for getting that for losing in that scenario. You get rewarded for it. So it is hockey. So it is hockey. So someone, please, again, please explain it to me. You get rewarded for losing in overtime, Mm -hmm. but you do not get all the way rewarded for winning in overtime. Make it make sense. KG, the floor is yours. It does Help me. Help me, KG. (laughs) Somebody help me understand how this works like this, why this works like this. Give me an explanation. The floor is yours. I'm not sure because even in soccer, it doesn't, you don't get the the point in overtime. So, so so far I've got, so so far, let me recap. I've gotten, this is Gary Bettman hockey, and I've got, I'm not sure. I don't. Hey, I don't make the rules, man. I don't make the so NHL rules, but it is stupid. It, it doesn't make sense. In this situ- in this, the way that the rules are, it should be two points for a win, one point for an overtime win, win. or yeah. shootout win, and zero for losing of anything. Yeah. Right. 
that that's pretty much what the rules are saying as the verification that it's more important to win in the regular season than you wouldn't have to go to the tiebreaker. Like I, I don't know I don't know what the solution is other than it doesn't make sense. Because to your point, explain where would it be at if the overtime losses or the overtime wins did matter? Would that mean the tiebreaker would be ours or would we yes. be further yes. ahead? We have more total wins, but not regulation wins. And isn't and they have more regulation ab- isn't losses. sports about wins? And yeah. they have more regulation and losses. And it doesn't matter if it's three out three or shootout. Everybody's got to play in it. But the, the, is this not a major, like, red flag to the point system? I just I said never it out realized loud. It, it's, it's this blatant, blaring, like, it's... Well, why would we? Because we haven't been relevant in this for eight years. Fair enough. Yeah. You know, you just you you get reintroduced to all this stuff and what happened, and I'm looking for one good I got explanation. It. Here's all my conspiracy theorists out there because it screws the Red Wings, just like the draft. This is like <laughs> this before. is like Batman's version of the draft for all you conspiracy right. theorists. It's like Adam there Silver in the Pistons draft. How do you screw draft. the Red Wings when they get close to the playoffs? Robert Colosia chimes in. It's basically a tie, so you get your point but then you get an extra point for winning the Rochambo overtime. Robert, but it's basically not a tie because someone lost. It's not, yeah. Because someone lost. Alex Haggerty, three on three is awesome. I love it. Okay. But then when you lose, you lost. What are we doing here? Again, I will say it one more time because I want an explanation that makes sense. And the part of the reason, guys, I ask this question is because I know there is not a correct response to it. There is none. If someone, if someone has access to the NHL office, if you're watching right now, again, you get rewarded for losing in overtime, but you don't get rewarded for winning in overtime when it comes to tiebreakers. Explain it to me like it makes sense. Please do that. Somebody help me, please. And, I, and I've been out in front of this for the last two weeks, DMAC, because I've seen this moment coming. I know you're trying, DMAC, and I'm, it's not your job. No, it's, it's not your job. <laughs> Absolutely not my job. But you may, wait, right? And the apparentness of us, like, I'm just sitting here going, this is like blatantly ridiculous. And it's like, uh, Council no, it's stupid. Close. It's you flat out it stupid. Be, if you're going to do it this way, it should be three for a regulation win, two for an overtime or shootout win, one for a shootout overtime loss, and zero for a regulation loss. Just like, you, but it makes no sense. But you, but that is the more glaring fact that we haven't been in the conversation that we know this for seven years or eight years, and even before that, we were in the playoffs, and I don't have to worry about it. Stephen Baffey says you get rewarded for making a team use overtime to beat you. So you lost, is what you're saying. You lost. You're getting yeah. rewarded a for loss losing. A loss is a loss, period. Like, again, and I, and I appreciate everybody. I appreciate, because you're trying to help me, and that's what I asked for. I asked for help. Like, isn't, I think that's noble. Ask for help when you don't understand something. Benny, what's the soaker? Uh, it's what Mormons do. They can't have sex, so they soak. <laughs> <laughs> they just put it in there and stay in there. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they get people to shake nice the bed. Nice bird, Kyle. Yeah. That's what, oh, oh you missed it. Is so, so, what? Because uh, the new, you know, the Yotes are going to Utah now, so I propose they should be the Salt Lake City Soakers. Nice. Yeah. But, yeah. I, now that all makes sense. Yeah. Thanks for uh, filling in the old guy. Yeah. Tiger Town. The Wings got rewarded in overtime too exactly but they didn't get rewarded for losing as often as the teams that they're in the mix with right now and ergo they won more games than the teams they're in the mix with right now they won more games hard stop shouldn't it shouldn't it the tiebreaker be wins and then if that's tied regulation wins that should be the first tiebreaker off uh, after the wins or how about wins and then fewer overtime losses. Yeah, there you go. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. Isn't that the same thing? I don't know. I'd say I'm just I'm spitballing right off, here. Uh, and I already think I just came up with that in the last four seconds. And I legit think that's a better solution than the one that they use to govern the game right now. And again, I want this out in front because I'm not going to cry about it because we knew this. We all knew this going in. So I'm not going to cry about it. But it doesn't change the fact that it's stupid. 
sorry. I'm sorry, it doesn't. It doesn't change the fact that it's stupid. All right, everybody, listen. After an accident, people need to hire a lawyer more than any other time. And that is true because it's a huge time in your life. So make Fire Law your first call. That's right, 1-800-A-WINNER. The team of trial lawyers will get you the money you deserve. Again, guys, that is a huge moment in your life. You need to hire a lawyer after an accident more than any other time in your life. 1-800-A-WINNER. Fire Law, all we do is win. Buying your first Feldman Chevrolet is much more than buying the car that will get you from point A to point B. It's a place for first memories, some big, some small. As she grows, you're not just buying her a Chevy, you're buying into a Feldman family. With more than 700,000 vehicles sold, from generation to generation, Feldman just keeps rolling. A ton of fun, a ton of sports, and a ton of man meat. Welcome to the Woodward Heavyweights, live daily 5 to 7 p.m. on Woodward Sports. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit, but we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. Sports love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at WoodwardSports.com. Just click on Shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo out merchandise. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. Is that an octopus in your pants, or are you just happy to see me? <laughs> see what I did there? Go Red Wings! From Octopi Experts, Woodward Sports. Premier Pet Supply is hands down Michigan's best pet store. Same prices in all the conveniences of the online and big box retailers with one major difference. They're family and locally owned and operated for 30 plus years. Over 60 brands of nutrition with experts to help you find what works best for you. Give your pet the best. PremierPetSupply.com. That's PremierPetSupply.com. All right, we're keeping it pushing here. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. Um, Just kind of wrapping up this discussion. It is. It's just Did you take a walk outside? You get a little breather? Uh, Yeah, I had to reset. I had to to reset the physiology in the room. I was worried about you. Yes. Um, Kevin Donaldson, what about the division playoff structure too? Why does that need to be a thing? You could have a lower record than other teams but still make it because of your division instead of the conference. Now, that one I can deal with to some degree um, because of you know the, the you play the division games more. Exactly. So the I, I can matters. deal with it to some degree. You know, if we're if we're just baselining everything, I get what you're saying though. But there, there is something, um, there is something to that, though. There is no doubt. Uh, Drew K. What's stupid is coughing up a third spot in the division and playing dump and chase hockey with no back check. Well, Drew K. Wouldn't that be how they got the third spot in the division too? If we're going down that road, Drew K. Is on this dump and chase thing, Dmac. Break that down. You mind? You mind going off script? Yeah. Break what? that. Yeah. Are you are you a, are you opposed to how much the Red Wings use the quote dump and chase? I'm opposed method? to a lack of physical play. The fact that nobody lays a body on anybody anymore. If you're going to play dump and chase, you have to hit people to get the puck back. You can't dump and chase to give the puck back and just skate around the ice. That's today's like the NHL. baseline. The baseline so idea of dump and chase is you dump it in, you have to go take it from the person the that gets thing, it. Here's the whole thing, right? Exactly. You could play like the Russian five where it's puck possession, and that's more of what today's NHL is, where it's get speed, get speed, load a guy up. You see it more on the power play. Guy coming with speed from behind through the neutral zone. The guys can skate as, you know, as fast or whatever. Nobody touches anybody. Everybody's like, there, there was a play last night. There was a play last night, and I seen, uh, I think it was Fabry or whatever, and he went to juke the, the D to chase him behind the net. And as he was chasing, and I'm sitting there watching the game with Dino Cicerelli, and as he goes behind the net, and the guy skates out and skates away from him. Back in my day, 
we were laughing because you could have just reefed the guy, like hooked the guy when you're going around the net and, and reamed on him. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not saying like that, like that's obviously interference and stuff like that. The game's evolved. But the fact is, you, why do you dump the puck in? Is to get a four check and to send in two guys like myself and Malpy or whatever like this. The first guy takes the man. The second guy plays the puck. There's too much one-on-one, -on -one, right? There's too much separation. The, the, the skill and the way that the defensemen cheat back and, and skate, like it's a different game. So it's more of a puck possession game when you don't hit anybody. The dump and chase is no good if you're just dumping it because you're giving possession back and they can wheel out if you're not going to hit anybody, right? And there are hits here and there, but it's not suffocating hockey like just – waves and waves and waves where a guy's going to get the puck and you know that you're going to get hit. Now, thankfully, what we see in the NHL is the regular season game and even the playoff game is still a little bit different. It gets a little bit more, it gets more physical because that's how you win in the playoffs when you play series. Because <clears throat> I go against you every night. My whole thing is I got to wear you down for a whole series, so I'm focused on you. And, and in the regular season, you're playing all different teams and all different games, and that's got to change. So, so it's even more imperative. It's just figuring out what your system is because you can have lines that are puck possession, but you can have different lines that have to play physical. And I know that the Wings are trying to do that, with, um, but that's the big thing of losing a, a Rasmussen. You know, so you got – that's the fine line in this NHL. So – there's no sense of playing dump and chase if you're not gonna if you're not gonna play physical. Uh, Timothy says if you don't get a point for overtime losses, the Red Wings would have 80 points and the Caps would have 78. So we will be in as of right now. And I just, I, I it just bothers me that you get rewarded for losing in overtime, but you don't get rewarded for winning when it comes to tiebreak. That's absurd. It is regulation win. So you're telling me you you don't value overtime then? Except for getting 50% of the points you get for winning in it to the losing team. Yeah. Like, come on, bro. That is stupid. The more I think about it, the more angry I get. <laughs> Real talk, man. Like, it, that's ignorant. Ignant, man. I, I don't even know what else to say about it. Um, Dad with Tourette says, you just be head-to-head -head and interconference and then record versus similar opponents. And Dad with Tourette's like, that's, that's kind of where I am with it, too. Like, if you're tied with another team, then it should be head-to-head. -head. But if it's a multi-team, then your tiebreaker comes into yes. Like, inter whatever that intertwines with. If it's from different divisions, then it's how you play it against the conference. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, re regulation wins when you get rewarded for losing in overtime. I'll never – it'll never make sense. Lots um system. Blake Griffin retired. Yeah, I just, I just saw that, as a matter of fact. I was going to touch on it when we come back uh, – Touch on we come back from the next break. Spenny, I go to you because you're a gauge for this. Mm -hmm. You love the transaction. Yes. Um, you love calling for action. Yes. I'll just say it like you bought that action, boss. I am. Um, Red Wings lose tonight. What's Spencer Raxter's state of the Red Wings? They don't get it. They don't get in the playoffs. They win, don't get in. If they don't get in the playoffs tonight, what's your state of the Red Wings? I mean, I'm disappointed in the season for sure. Like I expect the playoffs, but. I'm not fire Lalonde. I'm not doing that. You got to clean up the def defense situation. A full year of Edmondson will help next year. Bring you're going to bring up either Wallander or Johansson. I would assume as well to be one of those defensemen. On top of that, hopefully Kosa will be ready for next year. You got to figure out the goalie. That's number one. Yeah, that's number one in the offseason season. Is you got to figure out the goalie situation. Is Kosa ready to go? Is Huso going to be a guy until Kosa can? You got to figure out who's your goalie next year. I because think. at the end of the, that was the original. Like the Huso thing was supposed to kind of. He was. He was, supposed to be he was the bridge. bridge. Yeah. He was the bridge goalie. Yes. So I, I'm with you. All right. So you and I are in lockstep then. Yeah. I'm it not sucks. saying fire Lalonde. It sucks. It's disappointing. But, you know, they, they were right there. They were right there. They had a chance. Unfortunately, they didn't get it. That's. Which, and again, I go to you because you're the gauge. Yeah. I think you're very fair. So I, I assume. I assume Wallander and uh, Mazer are both going to be players on this team next year. Like I said, you get a full year of, of Edvinson. So, we'll see. Uh, DMAC, we'll ride out on this one. Question for you. Uh, MD Hill, get rid of overtime in the regular season. Go back to finishing games in a tie. It will make regulation more 
exciting. I, I don't. Oh, and pay Lucas Raymond and give him the A. That's number one order of business. Eight by eight for Raymond, give him the A. All right, there you go. So there's that as well. What do you, what do you think about? I'm not opposed to the overtime the way it was, but if you lose, you lose. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, it's 2024, three on three, as we saw in the All Star game and the shootout or whatever. It's 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 about skill and stuff like that. So I think there's still in the regular season that be a part of it. But the 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 thing is, it's common sense. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be rewarded for losing. And if you want so, to give so the it. system, so I don't know, maybe if you showed me what what three points for a regulation went, like maybe if you just change the point system or just change the rules of what is more important, <laughs> then you don't have to change yeah. anything. I, Except this is this supersedes. I do that. like the three I do like the three on three too, but my thing about it is is like look, make it have consequences for losing, and if you're gonna do three on three, then play the full five minutes. Don't make it sudden death. Well, here's and and here's but here's the consequence, right? Because, and this is the, the question or whatever, why whoever brought that up brings up a great point. We're the only sport that changes when it comes to playoff time, oh, how we do things, right? Like the, the, the over, overtime is different in the playoffs. It's played till, you know, sudden death, sudden victory, whatever, like the mat, matter how long it goes, five on five. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it, it just... I get it why they do it for the entertainment factor and for the fans and for the buzz and stuff like this, but at the end of the day, they got to figure out a better way. It, make, it makes your league a Mickey Mouse league. It does. It's arena football. It's gimmicky. It's, it's indoor a, it's lacrosse. Def, de- definitely. It's indoor soccer. Yeah. You know? Like, it's, it's just gimmicky, dude. It's a, it's a gimmicky, and, and it's a rule. Like, that rule is, is gimmicky, and I think that it, the only reason it's apparent is because we're finally here for the first time in seven years. So, and there it is. All right. Just wanted to get the piece out there on all of that. Um, but, yeah, I, look, the, you guys want to do the Pistons, like, financial thing? You guys want to do that or you want to do that tomorrow? What do you want to do? Uh, we can do it tomorrow. You want to yeah. do it tomorrow? Yeah. Okay. So we'll, we'll oh, do- we did. We got to do RIP Tuesday. Oh, we do? Sure. That, that's the one I was missing yeah, there on there. Yeah, rest that. in peace. Yeah. So, yes, uh, we will get to the rest in peace. No doubt about that. We have that coming up. Well, I just want to talk about the Tigers when we come back. Get into that. We'll do the rest in peace, and then we'll ride out of here. Fair enough? Fair enough. Fair Sounds enough. good. Everybody happy with it? Okay, let's go. Tell them about Guardian, d Let Guardian Alarm offer you customized solutions from real experts, professional technicians. Take the time to recommend security and automated solutions specific to your needs. But I need you to call Guardian Alarm today at the number 1-800-STAY-OUT. 24-7 professional monitoring. Call any time, day or night. Know that a Guardian team member will stay on the phone as long as it's needed. But I need you to call the number 1-800-STAY-OUT. Technology backed by people. Your safety and security deserves technology that's been proven to work and people have been proven to care. Business, pleasure, Guardian doesn't care. They just want you to call the number 1-800-STAY-OUT. Stay out out of the net, Washington. Please, please, God, don't score a goal. Stay out of the win column Washington I'd say stay out of the points column but you get rewarded for losing so you can get rewarded for losing all you want tonight just stay out of the playoffs Washington Guardian Alarm with local security experts telling Big D Energy we sent you Come to any Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men and claim your throne for a king's treatment from one of our talented stylists. Open seven days a week, walk in anytime. Just get to a Lady Jane's today and receive a precision haircut, scalp massage, hot lather neck shave, and a hot towel treatment. A haircut should not be a chore, it should be an experience. And that's exactly what Lady Jane's has to offer. Open seven days a week, walk-ins are always welcome. There's always a location near you. Lady Jane's Haircuts for Men, it's wicked awesome. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports. Love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo out merch. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today.
Visit Dispo Dispensary on the coveted 420 holiday. Yes, this Saturday and experience a team that curates an unbelievable atmosphere mixed with fresh inventory from Michigan's largest variety of products. Dispo is putting on epic events at each location with thousands upon thousands of giveaways that day. That's right, thousands of giveaways. Go visit your local cannabis plug, Dispo Dispensary today, DispoShops.com. Tell them Big D Energy, we sent you. All right, back at it here, Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. Uh, yeah, Spencey, uh, Spencey Spence, teased it. Um, Spencey teased it. <laughs> Blake Griffin has officially retired from the NBA. I didn't know Wait, he was in the NBA what? last year. Yeah, he played for the Celtics last year. He yeah. did? He did squeeze one more year out of it? Okay, cool. Cool enough. Um, never forget, by the way, Spencer, and you know this. You and I celebrate this. Mm. Analytically, Blake Griffin's best year was here with the Pistons. Absolutely. He gave, gave you an all-NBA season. Blake Griffin gave you everything he had left in his tank when yeah. he was here. Yeah. And you got a, a props 100%. and respect yeah. to that. Took you to the playoffs. Detroit mentality. Later. So anybody who watched and appreciated, you know, what he had. No, and the he... Best, the best Blake Griffin that the NBA has ever seen was in a Pistons uniform. And that is true. And I just want, I just want people to remember that. You can... Mm-hmm. You can question the, the end of it. You can question the motivation for doing it, whatever you want. But the bottom line is this. And in real talk, like my respect level for Blake Griffin went up 20 times, man, yeah. when, when he came here to Detroit. And look, was that his ideal situation? Probably not. Yeah. Probably not, which I, I can say I live here. So, you know, <laughs> it probably wasn't his ideal situation. Yeah. But he was a pro, man. He, he was he was a pro's pro. Business. Tried to help mentor the young guys, all of it. Yeah. So, you know, shout out Blake Griffin. Yep. You know, Blake Griffith, man, shout out, man. Shout out. So, uh, again, props to you. Uh, WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Uh, Max Mayer, Blake Blake brought the golden years to the Pistons since Gores has owned the team. That I mean, pretty much. It's the best era of Pistons we've seen since 04. It's crazy, but it's the truth. Uh, Rack, minus the dunking. He waited till game one of the new team to break those dunks out on us. That's true. People got mad as hell. Yeah, I, I was kind of mad at that, not going to lie. <laughs> but I'll never forget that 50-point triple-double to beat, uh, beat Philly. He had an and one on Joel Embiid. To win the game, was, yeah, do ball, do ball. He did. I just want that out there, man. Yeah. I just want that out there. Uh, WoodwardSports.com chat thread. Danny G uh, has just started dating a Mormon. Anyone feel free to give a good shake. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, <laughs> Dmac. They wanted me to explain that as well. Um, Mormons have shakers, so when they're soaking, they have they pay one of their friends to shake the bed. So they're just standing there, but the bed's shaking. So get out of here! here. Yeah. He made that up. I swear he to God. made that I swear up. To God. Dude, they got they used to have massage beds back in the day. You'd throw a quarter yeah. in that would shake the bed. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Maybe you might as well just do the damn thing nose, at that point. You should marketplace that down in Utah. So the soakers and the shakers. Soakers so you go shakers. with shakers too. Yeah. That's your second choice. Shakers, Utah yeah. shakers. You can give them a shaker alternate. You're version. lying. I swear to God. No way. Yeah. So. Did we settle on the Utah Soakers with a special shaker Saturday night? I like where they have it. special yeah, the shaker jersey. Yeah, yeah. alternate shaker jersey. Kenny, that yep. can't be first, true. First 5,000, get a wife. Is that true? Yeah, the first 5,000, get a free wife. <laughs> we came up with all these, by the way. Yeah. I think they're pretty electric, free foolproof electric. marketing ideas. Absolutely. I love it. Don't miss Shaker Saturdays at the Delta Center. Is it still the Delta <laughs> Center? I don't know. It's Probably two not. for one. Soakers and shakers. Come on <laughs> down. Bring shakers, your shaker. Yeah. If you're oh, a shaker. Soakers, bring your shakers. Yeah. Get in. Half price. Saturday night. <laughs> with, a, with a paid shaker, a soaker gets in free. <laughs> Isn't Utah dry state or something? Or um, dry county? Like, don't. Yes and no. So, like, they have yeah, bars, but you have to be a member at the bar. So, do they sell booze at the games? I can't comment. I don't know. That sounds terrible. You've never, you've right? never. I we played. Have you had bourbon in Utah? I have not, but like so, Southern Utah used to be in Oakland's conference. When we were in the Summit League, but we would stay in Vegas and then yeah. take the bus up the mountain to Southern Slough Utah. Smart, it's right man. by the Nevada. Board. Way to go, camp. That's, That's camp. why you're a legend. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're a legend. We always stayed in Vegas. I don't oh, care by the if way, it's an eight-hour trip. Dmac, interesting footnote too. By the way, 
to tonight's game. And Forty Gumble brought this up, and and props to you for bringing it up because I thought about it, then forgot about it. Uh, Forty Gumble, Neil, Philly has to win in regulation to even have a chance. Remember that because they're two points down to Washington. They have to win in regulation to even have a chance. It could be possible that if it's tied late in the third, they end up pulling their goalie. That's what a crazy scenario. Hundred percent possible. Um, that that could happen. We saw it earlier this year um, with Minnesota, and mm-hmm. they were trying to keep their hopes alive. Minnesota. So, um, yeah, I mean, hopefully, uh, hopefully, it doesn't come down to that. But again, Batman hockey, last game of the year. Here we go. Yep. Uh, Lems thirty one M John Smith penalty two minute bench minor for too many women. I don't think that that's, <laughs> that that if they institute that rule that will not apply in Utah, right? No, no because, because it's acceptable. Dumb, 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 It'll be like dumb, overtime. It's be in like the, basketball. You can take four steps. It'll be like overtime in the NHL. All of a sudden, there's different rules when you play in Utah. Absolutely. Way, one of the newest musicals to come out. I mean, really Broadway big time musicals is the Book of Mormon. It was uh-huh. uh, one Tony's is created by the South Park guys, Trey Parker and Matt Stone, and it's called the Book of Mormon. I heard it's really funny. I haven't seen it. My brother. They got soakers and shakers they in got, there. I'm sure they got. Ask your brother and if they got soakers and shakers. Oh, yeah. oh, that's good. Damn. Uh, uh, it's Pat, like an all-time musical, though. It's like up there with like the big ones, and it's come out recently. But yeah, DMAC, y- yesterday's guy. show, everybody went in. We had a uh, text like this from Patrick that says the Utah thrust. Uh, let's go Red Wings, Sparty, the Utah bed shakers. So, like, it was it was a lot of that. Nice. What was your favorite? What did we settle on? I uh, like the Soakers. Yeah, yeah, Spenny was dying on the hill for the Soakers. We I was, the white I was folk. kind of indifferent. The white folk. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Utah yeah, that's right. Folk. The white folk. <laughs> Utah white folk. Right? That's right. Yep. I also like the Utah IFB churches, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> the Utah white folk. We could do this all day. That's a white folk goal. <laughs> there you go. Goal I think it would work. Folk. I think it would work. Uh, yeah. So, uh, all right, let's do this. And let's take the break. We'll come back a uh, little rest in peace Tuesday. And, um, you know, a couple house cleaning things about the draft as well. Tell about Les Stanford. What happens when you run a great business for over 50 years? You expand and offer more products to more people. Exactly what Les Stanford did by adding Les Stanford Buick GMC, the same great service the customers have come to know and trust on Woodward Ave just south of Nine Mile. Check out Les Stanford and Dearborn today. LesStanford.com, Les Stanford Chevrolet. Together, let's drive. At work and at home, we're there with smarter security solutions. Featuring complete automation with customized alerts and more. For over 90 years, we've been the company that's been counted on to protect what matters most, all with personalized service and care. Right now, for a limited time, receive a free video device plus free installation with a new home system. Guardian Alarm. We protect Michigan. Congratulations to the real coach of the year, Motor City Dan Campbell. Just put your head down and go to work. It's about to be fun, man. It's about to be fun. Woodward Sports. Love Woodward Sports? Love wearing clothes? Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo out merch. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Southeastern Michigan and Jerome Bettis, the Bus Stops Here Foundation, is proud to present the 3C Sports Conference to educate, inform, and inspire players, parents, and coaches in our local communities, featuring impactful speakers like Jerome Bettis, Eddie George, Adam Schefter, Calvin Johnson will be involved as well. Lee McNeil will be a part of it April 24th through the 26th. For more info and tickets, scan the QR code on the screen and sign up today. It's the 3C Sports Conference in Detroit. All right, keeping it pushing here. Big D Energy, Woodward Sports Network. Um, Alex Haggerty says the Utah Magic, but their logo is underwear. Oh. Two Magic franchises, maybe they, you know. Yeah. Why not, right? Why not? Um... But yeah, you guys are pretty funny with this stuff. It's too easy, man. 
Yep. The Utah Missionaries. Utah Romneys. The, the Utah Romneys. Yeah, that's, Utah Utah Mitts. Mitts. that's a good one. The alternate. The that's Mitts. right. It's another home game on Saturday. That's a Mitts home game. <laughs> <laughs> the Wings. Uh, yeah. taking, Mitts are taking on the Wings. <laughs> Detroit in town. The yep. Uh, real cream of wheat. The Utah Sister Wives. Uh, the Growers Not Showers. All right, everybody. I, I sense us taking a turn yeah. towards the negative. Yep, part and, two. and I was proud of everybody yesterday. Because for like three segments, they kept it on the up and up. It, I believe it was a new show record, a new chat record. Yeah. They took it serious for like three <laughs> segments. And then we kind of, we didn't like just. I don't even know if it made it that long. We but. didn't crash off the road. We just veered. We ve- yeah. yeah. And then like the rumble strips hit and then we like came yeah. to and everything like that. And then it was over. But, you know, I was proud of everybody. <laughs> Pop the tire. There you go. I like it. Um, so, yeah. Hey, you guys ready? It's. Rest in peace Tuesday time, everybody. Do I got any volunteers? I'll go first. Duh, Spencer Raxter, yes. It's pretty easy. You the know. Utah Josephs. The Utah Josephs. The Utah curfew. <laughs> <laughs> the Utah. Speaking, you know, just sticking to what we're talking about and, the, and, and what we're on right now. R.I.P. to the Yotes. R.I.P. Yes. to the Coyotes. Batman and Arizona failed you guys as a franchise. Just, just embarrassing behavior, making you play in college stadiums for the past couple of years. Just... Not doing you justice. You guys had some of the coolest jerseys. Like the sweaters, the no throwback doubt. yoke sweaters are fucking awesome. And yeah, it's I, I think Arizona deserves hockey. I think it deserves it more than the Mormons. So like sorry for all the Arizona Coyotes fans, man. It sucks. RIP to the Yotes. No, and and hundred percent you're right. Like the Keith Kachuk era, Nikolai Hobby Bulin era yeah. Coyotes jerseys were pure electricity. I loved them. I hated that the Wings played them every year in the playoffs because you know, I wanted to see them have success, but not at our expense. But those jerseys, they went hard, man. I yeah. loved them. I, I may have to get one. I think I'm going to have to get one yeah. so that it lives on. But you're right. How does the NHL, DMAC, how does the NHL not step in and make that work? And I, and I understand. Really? We just got done talking Sorry. two segments they, about that one's how mine. stupid that the one's rules on me. are when it comes to. <laughs> so you really want them to give compassion or whatever and. Can you just look and see who's on? Thank you. Show Neil hanging himself. You're right. Um, that's on me. Can you just, Sorry. you know what? Gary Batman, that's all I got to say. No, that's it, absolutely. Uh, got, Burns has got to say those Utah Vegas games are going to be wild Latter day Saints versus Sin City. <laughs> It'll be a clash the of. Saints versus the Sinners. A there clash of, of morals. Yeah. You don't get that very often in sport, at least, you know, American sports. Yeah. It's all the same morals. Um, IT hips, yeah, the wings would always beat them in the playoffs. Oh, I know, and that's what made me sad about it. I am. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get a, an old school coyote shirt, I think, and I'm gonna rock it. KG, yes. Who are you putting in the casket, man? Rest it, in peace, Tuesday. In memoriam for a team that was already in the casket, the Detroit Pistons. R.I.P. to the new president of basketball operations. <laughs> they haven't hired him yet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna work out, man. Um, as long as Arn Tellum and Ed Stefanski and all those guys are there, I just don't see how a president of basketball ops. I mean, Troy Weaver has been handcuffed this whole time. He hasn't been allowed to die on his own sword. I, I don't see how a president of basketball ops makes it any better, but he's going to have a tough situation coming in regardless. I just don't see it working. I don't. Um, I'll, Tomorrow when we do the financial thing, I'll hit you with a theory. I'll, I'll hit you with a theory. Okay. On why they're going to roll. They're going to roll with them again. Okay. I'll hit you with a theory. All right. Okay. It's just a theory. I, I don't have any it. inside knowledge or anything like that. Um, Mason Leach, rest in peace to Neil after El Mago hits another home run. I uh, know, Mason Leach, you don't come back to life when you hit your second home run of the year. He's back. Which is a great segue, Mason Leach, into my rest in peace because you know what? We're all dog on El Mago and think he's the worst valued player. Player in the or in the um, Major League Baseball, which he making is. twenty four million a year, twenty five, batting one fifty four <laughs> with one home run, one forty eight, one forty eight. <laughs> sorry, with one home run and four RBIs, two RBIs. He's only got two. Yeah, yeah. you sure? Well, you know what? Maybe you know three. Who that else could is, be four. You know who's worse than that? Rest in peace. Who brought it to my attention? Looked it up. Francisco Lindor mm-hmm. making thirty-four million, ten-year, three hundred forty-one million dollar contract, batting one fifty-two with one homer and two RBIs. 
Sheesh. So you know what? For all you Almago lovers out there, that was for you. Because it could be worse. The Mets had both of those. But jumps. here's the thing. <laughs> Lindor's going to hit his way out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Baez <laughs> isn't. I don't have a two-year sample size right of now, Lindor doing I, this. I'm doing this rest in peace, but he's going to get hot. Because I think he's got oh no choice. Oh, my God. But, right? Like, look how. I think his OPS is in the twos. No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, my God. I pulled up spot track here. Uh-oh. He is, it's 2024. He is 30 years old right now. And look, he'll, he'll snap out of it. I don't yeah. have a two-year track record of him doing this consecutively. But I'm just thinking about 2031 when he's 37 and he's making $34 million. Jesus. He's only in year three of a 10-year deal. Oh, my God. You're welcome. Baseball contract. Could be worse. Right? Almago's back, baby. Well, he's not back, but could be worse. We'll Except see. they couldn't. The Almago versus Lindor. Here we go. Head to head watch. Yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see who gets out of it first. So I everybody. thought I'd bring that to your attention. Yeah, absolutely. Uh Mason, Neil, I'm just effing with you. Uh we all give you a hard time about Almago. No, I've come to like it, Mason Leach. I ca- <laughs> I've come to like it because when I have the game on, even if I'm in the car and I'm listening because I'm a sicko. Because if they're on, I'm participating. Yeah. If I'm not like calling a game or coaching my kids' games or something like that. If they are on, I watch every Tigers game in some form or fashion. Yeah. Every single one. Or listen in some form or fashion. I'll be driving to the studio down in South Florida and turn the game on the phone and listen on the satellite radio. Yeah, I'm right. 100% sicko like that. So I just, I, there's nothing I love more than when I hear he gets a base hit or, well, I never hear that he gets a walk because he hasn't gotten walked this year, <laughs> even though we're almost to May. He hasn't walked yet? He got no. hit by a pitch. He got hit. KG wants to come at me with this <laughs> bullshit. He got hit by a pitch. Jordan, it's technically a walk. Does not count. <laughs> it's technically a walk, man. I mean, Does I give him count. a little bit of credit. Yeah. Like, he took one for the team. <laughs> so, oh. No, that doesn't count, KG. Can we make that a rule? That does not count does as not a walk. Count. Thank you. <laughs> I, I won't even allow it. I, I like the effort, though. Yeah, I, I give try. You, I, give you, I don't I, hold I it against you for trying. Yeah. Right? Um, Lewis asks, will you watch the one that starts in 30 minutes? Um, no, because I'll be on the road, but I will have it on on the radio. Yeah, radio. 100% on Shout the out radio. Dan Dickerson. Yep. Shout out Dan Dickerson. And can we? Can I get some credit where credit is due? This is not an RIP. This is a, a fluff segment. Ken, wow. da- Ken Daniels is... The best play by play voice in professional sports. You know what's cool what about that, Spenny? You bring that up. Insane. You bring that up. So I'm up in the gondola um, between the first, it was in the first, it was before the game or whatever, like that. And he came in to grab a coffee or whatever. And we were talking. I was like, bro. And I, I said, I said, it's like getting, you know, I can hear it in your voice, the call Larkin in Toronto and stuff. I said, you having fun and excited? He says, yeah miss this miss this so much so so him and mickey um and and you know ken cal and, and what everybody's daniella is so engaged and he brought up a great point yeah i haven't done a playoff game in like seven years God, you and don't forget, even think about it and like forget that. forget about the check right right because there's you do four, make more money, four games yeah. right exactly and that's like the time but it's like your team so you know, these guys are living it and everybody around the organization just as much. But it was really cool to have this conversation. I could, like, he was lit up, right, about the, his excitement. And then that certainly comes through. So shout out to Kenny D. He's uh, amazing. You're right, Spenny. He's the voice of my, my entire life watching the Red Wings, him and Mickey. It's, it never gets old hearing his calls. He's, he's the best, best in the business by far. No shout doubt. Out. Shout out to Ken Daniels. Shout out, man. And he's a great guy. Got great announcers in this town, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, for sure. Some of the best. Like, legendary. Legendary. Like, Hall of Famers. George Blaha, first ballot Hall of Famer. Oh, Ken yeah. Daniels, Ken Kell, Mickey Redman. Dan first Miller. First ballot Hall of Famers. Yep. Yeah. Dan Miller, Jason Benetti, fantastic. Mark, Neil, Neil Mark, Rule, fantastic. <laughs> yeah, got to put you uh, up there. Mark, Mark, Champion. Mark Champion. Dude was the voice of the Disney Super Bowl commercial, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Like, think about that for mm-hmm. a minute. Hey, and, and to the keys to wisdom, D-Mac needs a high stick easy for declaring the wings dead last week? No, because he's not wrong yet. Mm-hmm. Dan Dickerson. Right? But don't worry. I, pff, listen, I'll forgive. I don't forget. I got receipts to hand out for years. Absolutely. Oh, uh, my rest in peace. Uh-oh. I, sh- I foreshadowed this one earlier today. Guess what? Rest in peace. Rest in piss, Boston Bruins. Hey. Rest in piss. Your season, dead. Get your shit off. Your franchise, dead. 
I am taking the aggressive step. I will be pulling for Toronto over you guys this year. The Boston Bruins, after that disappearing act you pulled last night, you are dead, Boston Bruins. And guess what? Last season will seem like a vacation after this season and the disappointment that you endure in the playoffs because you're soft. You're a soft hockey team. You're a soft organization. Your best days are behind you. You can win all the regular season games you want. But guess what, Boston Bruins? After that shit you pulled last night, you guys are finished. You're dead. The season's over. So get used to it, Boston Bruins. Once again, you're the new Toronto Maple Leafs. You're cooked. You're dead. Rest in peace. Neil cuts a good promo, don't you, D-Mac? <laughs> I don't think he has his headpiece in. Oh, oh yeah, he does. No, I don't. <laughs> I, I don't think he does. It's what all he good. I said Neil cuts a good promo. Oh, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. His heel promos are even better. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. Forty Gumble Bruins winning the twenty twenty four Stanley Cup confirmed. No chance, brother. No chance. Um, Nick Lucido. Uh, best announcers. Number one, Neil Rule. Number two, John Sterling. Okay. <laughs> All right. Easy there, guy. Shout out John Sterling, too, who retired. Um, 83, man. Uh, Max Mayer, can we DFA our seven through nine hitters and just use six batters? We'd yeah. be unbeaten. You can't continue to live like this, KG. You can't. It's not looking like that. I'm more concerned about Parker Meadows. I mean, Javi going to be Javi, but. Seven, eight, nine for today's game is Javi Meadows Rogers. Sheesh. Jake Three Rogers, I feel like, outs. yeah, Jake, that, Jake could get, he'll, he'll do better, but over under five and a half strikeouts. Those over, three guys over figure nine. I don't, even know who, I don't even know who's on the mound. If it's Scherzer way over. Oh yeah. But I don't even know who's on the mound for the Rangers, but I'm taking the over. You can't live like that, dude. Tell him about the QB challenge. I'll tell him about the QB challenge. If you could throw it on a rope, you could win two tickets to this year's home opener. It is the Shake Shack quarterback challenge all you got to do is scan that qr code go to woodwardsports.com or go to any shake shack location and you can sign up and if you sign up you got a chance to win you sign up you're in the contest we got the board where you guys are going to be throwing the football at it's pretty sweet so if you want to go to the home opener this year all you got to do is enter the shake shack quarterback challenge Where's the most convenient place to get that big fitness energy? It's Planet Fitness. Join today for just $1 down, $10 a month. With over 2,400 locations and equipment for every workout, you can get in, get energized, and get going. And with free fitness training and most clubs open 24 hours, everyone belongs in the judgment-free zone. So join today for $1 down, $10 a month, no commitment, cancel any time. We don't like to brag that we are the toughest sports network in Detroit. But we do have a guy named Darren McCarty on our side. Woodward Sports. I love Woodward Sports. Love wearing clothes. Then you should be wearing Woodward Sports clothes. Check out our full line of merch at woodwardsports.com. Just click on shop. We have all your favorite designs, like Dan Campbell kneecaps, Woodward Golf, and of course, our own logo out merch. Men, women, infants, kids all love Woodward Sports. Impress your friends. Impress your boss. Impress your dog. Buy Woodward Sports merch today. This ice water bubble hash pre-roll now with diamonds constantly pushing to create the best canna experience. The perfect boost comes from the added touch of pure THC diamond dust. Allowing flour with only the highest terps, making the best better. Glorious Cannabis, check us out at your local retailer, that'd be Dispo, or GloriousCanna2Ends.com. Glorious! All right, final segment of the show, Big D Energy, Neil Rule, D-Max, Spencer Raxter, KG, as well, all of you in the Woodward Sports YouTube chat. Appreciate you guys and your involvement all show long. Hey, clip that like button. if, if you're, you're here, so just do me a favor. Might as well. Clip, yeah, clip that like button if you are... Uh, if you would be so kind. Um, but yeah. Uh, Nick Lucido says, that's one thing we can all agree. Lucido's our resident New York fan. And uh, he says, we can all agree to put Boston in the car. Yeah, oh, yeah. Boston. <laughs> 100%, man. A bunch of chumps. Never liked them. And the one city's so cool, dude. I've asked one thing from you my whole life, and you couldn't do it. Fuck you, Boston. Thank you. Thank you, man. I just... 
That's that's absolutely tough. Hey, top five Wednesday tomorrow. What are we doing? Um, what do we have here in the queue? Top five stripper names. Um, top five potato chips. I like that. Potato yeah. chips are good. Yeah. Top five wrestlers of all time. Ooh, that's a good one. I like that. That, one. that is a good one. Top five ice cream flavors. Mm, I like it. Top five excuses. <laughs> that's a good one. What do y'all think? Chat, what do you guys think? Give me a top five here the next three minutes. What do you what are you guys leaning towards? I'm kind of feeling top five excuses. Yeah, excuses is a good one. You like that one, D Mac? Yeah, that's Either a good one. Excuses or wrestlers, one or the two. Excuses or wrestlers. All right, I'll give the I'll give the I'll give the chat uh, a couple seconds to get one. Uh, let's go Red Wing Sparty. The Bruins are frauds. Um, real cream of wheat, top five most hated cities. That's a good one. That is a good one. There it is. All right, top five most hated cities tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. Dmac, you should offer some great insight into this one. I know my number one already. I think I do. Is there going to be recency <laughs> bias in? <laughs> no. It's going to be on brand though. I have to think about that one. My love. I don't really hate. So. Well, I don't know if I could put it in number one. For different reasons. I'll have to dig deep in the tank yeah, for this Yeah, one. Dig, dig deep. Well, you know, whatever it is to you. Because it's my hate, not hate right. Ted. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever like, that is for you. Your top five least favorite cities. Nick Lucido said Gary, Indiana. <laughs> oh, that's a great That's on everybody's yeah. list. They've been through enough. <laughs> <there. Yeah. laughs> Leave him alone. Carry alone. So, so in between like broadcast stops, I did the mortgage game for a little bit. Yeah, and was trying to do like some mortgage comps. And Gary, I had a license in Indiana. I had a license in fourteen states. Gary, Indiana, the housing values Whoa. there, bro, were tough. Yeah. Breaking news: What do we got? Uh, Michigan penalties announced. Uh, they will receive three-year probation and more after investigation into recruiting violations. During the uh, after the probe into the Jim Harbaugh era, the NCAA announced on Tuesday that an investigation into Jim Harbaugh's football program uh, t- t- resulted in discovery of re- recruiting violations. Uh, we knew that. The announcement yeah, stated that the university it. accepted the violations as agreed to penalties of three years of probation for the school a fine and recruiting restrictions in alignment with the level one mitigated classification of the school. So they got nothing is what you're telling me. Right. And three year probation. Does that mean that? Yeah. What is probation from what? what uh, you just don't do anything wrong for the three years. Uh-huh. Guys. Can we, can we say, can we Definitely unilaterally? That sound like they got nothing to me. Definitely worth it. That sounds so like D-Mac? they got nothing to me. I, is the case closed? Neil was right. Hold on, let me right? play, yeah, play but, one for my boys, man. You were always right. You damn right. Ew. Was I right, KG? All right, well, it that'll was do it for us today. Yeah. <laughs> Spenny, no, was I right? right? You were right for sure. 100% right. Get in the weeds and cheat to win. It's recruiting everybody. Look at all the Michigan fans. Look at all the Michigan fans. The old proverbial ask for forgiveness, not permission. Look at all the Michigan fans now in the chat. Oh, well, we still got the natty. I'll take it. We won the natty. See? What happened to your honor now, Michigan fans? No, they I, got nothing. They should have to follow that up with, Neil, you were right. In the end, you were right. Every school has They right. should say, thank you, Neil. Yeah, you Neil showed us right. the light. Jack Stark says, so cheating was worth it. 100%. Yeah, Michigan and fans. you're a Michigan State fan. Yeah. 100% it's worth it. It's never not been worth it. Show me, show me a time where it wasn't worth it. And don't be mad at me. I didn't make it this way. The NCAA did. Show me a time where it wasn't worth it. Please, someone show me a time. You can't. And then there's Seth Floyd, insecure. 49 to 0. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Why would you not cheat? Show me a school that ain't sure. got recruiting violations. Yeah, no. They just that's got what caught. happens. That's how you win. They just got caught. They got nothing. That's all I heard. Oh, Blue, they you got would take nothing. Spending, Greg Rounds. Uh, I would one hundred percent. You didn't have recruiting violations. My ass. They got I would one hundred percent take that trade off. A thousand percent. M- million percent. But you guys were the uh, ones that said, "Oh, I if you think we're bad, wrong. dig up You're Alabama's cheap. past." This is a witch hunt. But yeah, no, you definitely take that trade off. Can we agree it wasn't a witch hunt, KG? That it wasn't a witch hunt. What? It wasn't a witch hunt. Okay. Not cool. not to not to that level, no. And I was right. But they didn't have anything either. So what the what can they witch hunt? Oh, except about? recruiting violations. Uh, who cares? Well, it is a rule. Do you it's a go, rule violation. You wanna go talk to Urban Meyer? You wanna go talk no, to No 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 KGC, oh, no. this I'm, is my problem. Like to, what? 
It happened, KG. Accept it. Yes, it happened. You got sanctioned for it. There's yeah, you no got sanctioned for There's it. No like, I'm not saying it didn't happen. All I'm saying and is, and I watched you get it, and I watched you get a trophy. Yeah. Both things can be true. Yeah, why why saying, can't you guys just say that? Though? I'm just saying, who cares? It's, I don't understand it. It's, just admit you cheated, but you still won. Yeah, and then say, Neil, you were right. Yeah, I'm just. Is it cheating when everybody does it? Yes. Yes, it is. Especially okay. when the NCAA gives you sanctions for it. Yeah. yeah. The but it's don't KG. Get me it's okay. On the NCAA, they a joke within themselves. <laughs> but it's okay, but, KG. Yeah. You won. You we won. Did. I watched never, it. Can we never did. take that away from me. But they no, got we all watched it happen. Nothing. And, and nada. the NCAA didn't take it away from yeah. me. So there you so go. There you they go. got nothing. Not so in. They mad he played. left. They mad he left. Uh, Burn. Like OJ, Michigan beat the allegations. 100%. Exactly. Well, no, they didn't beat the allegations. They we, literally got we beat called the case. case sanction for We beat the case, Ben. They didn't. They we just beat got the, the penalties case, for ben. it. As the opposite of beating They got the case. nothing. They were proved to be cheaters. Acquitted. The and, glove didn't fit. And, no. The glove fit. They were <laughs> the not glove acquitted. Did not fit. Uh, uh, Nick Williams, guys, this is separate from the sign stealing thing. No, I know. This is the recruiting violations. This is And this is indirectly, let's call that what it is. This is the J.J. McCarthy recruiting violations. Mm -hmm. This is the hamburger gate. Yeah. Who, wait, who cares? This is what the coach got suspended for. Ain't the only time a hamburger has been bought in the NCAA. <laughs> so that's it. All right. I think we're all at the, at the end. We're at the same exit of the highway. You know, just I don't know why Michigan fans want to take the long way. I, I just take understand. the I just take the tollway, take yeah. the expressway. But whatever. Um, they got nothing. Here on Mark M, Michigan's a fine local championship program. So, so there's that as right. well. All right, we'll be back tomorrow. Top five Wednesday. What did we say? Um, worst excuses. Worst excuses. Or worst oh, cities. Excuses. Oh, worst worst cities. cities. Yeah. Top five worst cities. We'll do excuses next week. For DMAC, KG, Spencer Rasher, I'm Neil World. Thanks for tapping in. Well, see you later. They got nothing. <laughs>